Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the final episode of the first season of Blood Curdling Tales of Terror. We have had such adventures the last couple weeks, and we have had some real spooks happening. And y'all, I cannot wait to bring you the final adventure today. Today's episode is called Ice Virus. It takes place in the year 2200, and due to global warming, the polar ice caps have been melting. Old viruses that were once long buried have begun to break out, taking most of the humankind with it. A few group of scientists, an android and others, are working on a cure up in the Antarctica, in a scientific lab in Antarctica. Now, folks, here's a story, though, that you can participate in. For $25, hashtag infected, an infected person will attack our cast. For $50, hashtag weapon, you create a custom weapon, and it's one-tenth the damage of the amount. What that basically means is, uh, if uh, you decide you want to make a $50 weapon, that's going to be a plus five on their damage rolls, because we roll with two D20s. That's how this works. $75 is a hashtag virus, a random character will get infected. That could be our players, or it could be an NPC. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. I was like, PC. What was the first word? Uh, and for $100, hashtag disrupt, you are the GM. You tell us where the story is going. And you better believe I'm ready to see what you got to throw at me. So as I said, we open up on a uh, lab up in Antarctica. A group of scientists have been working to find the cure for a new virus. We are in what is called Outpost Carpenter Outpost. And these group of people are working. And we come across uh, our very first person in the story, who was the main scientist working in these labs, Miss Anna Morrison. Well, we have to figure out how to stop this virus. I think, I think this is going to be my, my greatest my greatest accomplishment yet. Working alongside Anna is her android, Seek, which Anna had created a number of years ago. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Seek, Scientific Expedition Assistant Cyborg. Cyborg. They're working uh, in some couple of vials or some scientific lab equipment around them, of course. Uh, and uh, down below, there's this lab is about three stories. There's the main story on the front where you would enter from, which is the basic ground level. There's a second story below, that's where you would find the lab, uh, the kitchen area, anything like that, the bunks uh, for all the different scientists and people who work there. And the bottom part, the basement. In the basement, there are some uh, infected people there, uh, but they're in stage one of what eventually becomes three stages. Uh, most people don't live past stage two. Um, so, but there's some people infected down there, and that's what mainly this laboratory is for, is it's isolation to make sure to keep these infected people away from others, but also it allows you guys to work, and it's uh, the source of the virus. Uh, so right now, uh, the characters of uh, Anna and Seek are on level two. Uh, down in the kitchen area, we have Kyle Stevenson going to, going to town on breakfast. I got a busy day. Stuff's breaking all over the place. These uh, these outposts, they weren't built to last, so it's a lot of work to keep them, keep them running. Kyle Stevenson is the mechanic of the outpost. Not everybody there is a scientist, of course. Someone's got to make sure that motor is still running. Yep. Kyle, tell us about your family life. Uh, single single now. Uh, I've got an ex-wife and a daughter living out. I, I, think, it's, I think it's there in Florida now. Uh, there's, there's a new husband, so I don't really keep in touch with them. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm on my own mainly, just, just focusing on my work, as usual. And this is a special day at the outpost, at Carpenter Outpost, because Dr. Joanna Holbrook, the Director of Development for the Scientific Research, uh, has come in today, flying in on a helicopter, to see how everything is going, and she is entering uh, the cafeteria right now, where Kyle is enjoying some meal. Good morning. Good morning. You're new here. Yes, Dr. Joanna Holbrook. Kyle. Nice to meet you. What exactly is your role in this operation? Uh, I'm the maintenance engineer. I keep the lights on, keep everything running. Did you, uh, you came in on helicopter right here? Yeah, I did. Uh, we, I know we gotta fix some of the some of the pylons out there by the landing field. That's all right. But, um, I understand that this is, well, it's a very important operation. Sure. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah the way some of us prefer it. Well, it's certainly the way that 
we'd prefer to test any sort of scientific pharmaceutical products. Don't want to involve anybody that we don't have to. Yeah, that, I, I, I suppose that's How long true. have you been out here? Uh, about five years, so I'm pretty, pretty familiar with the ins and outs of, of the, the basic systems here. Make sure the lights are on, make sure the snow cats are running. Excellent. Yeah. Would you mind bringing me to the person who's in charge of your operation? Sure, yeah, yeah, let's go up and, uh, let's go up and see Dr. Morrison. So as they start to make their way out, uh, Jackie, another scientist in the laboratory, walks in, says his hello to Kyle, uh, and introduces himself to Joanne. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. Morning. Uh, you make hey, there coffee around here, Kyle? Is there coffee? Yeah, there's a uh, there's fresh pot. Oh, thank really God. Good. He walks past both of you, starts pouring himself a cu pot a cup of coffee. Okay. Black. Great. Do I notice anything unusual about his behavior? Is he just seeming like a tired guy? Very clearly sleep deprived. Okay. It, it seems uh, he's, uh, there's definitely a degree of seeing that this guy's probably been working all night. Okay. He hasn't slept. This is not just like, oh, I just woke up tired. <laughs> this is like, we've been going at it tired. Um, turns to both of you. You guys want some? I just finished my breakfast, man. I'm good. Thank you. I'm all right. I need to get a move on. Maybe later. Sounds good. Pours himself another cup. Walks the other direction of you two. So you guys start making your way down the hallway. Yes. Uh, towards the lab. Uh, Anna and Seek, uh, you two are working together. You're here. You start hearing the footsteps approaching. Um, and uh, to you, it's not that odd because there's enough people here. Uh, but Anna, you're somebody who kind of likes to keep your work yeah. to yourself a little bit. It sounds like yeah. we have company. Yes. Seek, can you see who that is? Of course. Who's here? Hello? You two enter the lab. Can Hi. You Hello. Introduce yourselves. Dr. Joanna Holbrook. Hi. Director of Development for the Penta Corporation. Dr. Anna Morrison. Nice to meet you, Joanna. So you were sent here from where? From Minneapolis, okay. from the Penta Corporation That's headquarters. Right. That's right. Okay, well, we have, a, we have lots to do here, so um, go ahead and tell me what you want to start with. Well, obviously, this is the facility that's made the most advancements towards I'm containing very, this epidemic that's happening. I'm very proud of that. Yes, mm -hmm. incredible work. Thank you. What I want is to advance the, the rate at which this is being done by any means possible, but certainly I've already seen some of your lab workers seem to be suffering from extreme mm -hmm. sleep deprivation. Well, we work very hard here at the lab. Yes, I know. The I'm, conditions out here are not suitable for human life. It's amazing you're out here at all. Well, I want to assist you in any way that I can. I don't believe in taking a hands-off approach to my job. If we can, if I can physically be of any assistance to you whatsoever. Great, yes, yes. Um, well, I will let you know if there's anything that I, you can help me with uh, as soon as I finish what I'm doing here. Uh, oh, hello, uh, Kyle, right? Yeah. That's right, okay, uh, I remember. That's right. Um, yeah, I, I get the work orders. But I'm yeah. usually down, downstairs. Okay, yeah, I just weird. I don't usually see you in the lab. So True, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Unless you guys have a problem, and then, then I'm here. But no, Have you fine. made any advancements in terms of isolating the bacteria that's causing the virus, or if it's some sort of genetic mutation? We've identified some of it. Um, part, part of the cells have been, uh, been dividing rapidly when we separate this, uh, this, spe this specimen right up here. And I have like my, uh, I have like different little right. things set up here. Um, so right here, it's rapidly, rapidly increasing in volume. Um, but over here, this one, this we separated for Seek, some are reason. you just grabbing that? You're <laughs> Seek, <laughs> Seek, yes. <laughs> Seek. Seek? Seek. Yes. 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 Seek. Scientific expedition assistant cyborg. Understood. Mm -hmm. So as you guys start talking, you start to hear in the distance uh, moaning, screaming. Uh, it sounds, and the sounds of wheels, like a gurney, as it gets uh, closer and closer and closer to you. The two doors swing open. Here comes Jackie, uh, holding a gurney with someone strapped to the table. The guy's is screaming in agony. Just, oh God, it hurts! It hurts so much. Jesus, God, it hurts. All right, Doctor Anna, here's uh, here's your patient. You need anything else? 
Are you going to experiment on this person? Oh, well, um, you're here now, so let's uh, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. By all means. Okay. All right. So we approach the guy. He's all got right. his. Uh, he's got like black around his mouth, almost like dry. Uh, it could could be mistaken for blood if you didn't is see this, that it was uh, blood. Stage, so this is stage two or stage this is stage two. Stage two. Stage two. Okay. Stage one starts off as a hives. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this patient here clearly stage two. Okay. Well, I, I don't understand what this is around. This this blackness just shows up around. Yes. And, it, and uh, we have to identify where that's coming from. All right. But, um, hmm. Does it hurt if I if I if I touch you here, sir? Oh, God, it hurts it's everywhere. It's like being on fire. On fire? On fire. What other symptoms are you exper experiencing? Well, it's like my skin is like there's something under my skin. It, it burns and I can't see. Stage two. Uh, it's bad. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to get to stage three. Uh, Kyle, as, as a non-scientist, what do you think of yeah, this? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of stepping back and this is... I don't want any part of this. Is this patient contagious? We're not sure. I mean, there's... <sighs> yes. From my experience, there seems to be no rhyme or reason to the contagion. My son was at school with some of the earliest patients who were mm -hmm. younger, but he seems to be completely unaffected by mm -hmm. it. It is possible that some humans may have an immunity to the virus. We have to find that immunity, and we need to replicate it somehow. Somehow turn that into a cure. Hmm. May hmm. we dissect your son? Uh, no. Besides, he's home. I don't have him See, with we me. We don't really. Yeah, we don't really uh, want to. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay, I'm thanks, Zeke. all about doing whatever it takes, but uh, not at the expense of murdering children. Hmm. Science. <laughs> the guy's just like, please give me anything. Oh, care, just give me something. You're not going to sedate the patient. May I administer a painkiller to the patient? You may. Please Can you give him. Uh, so you can get a heavy roll for that. Oh. Okay. Roll your d20. 11. Uh, one. Yeah, you're able to kind of <laughs> just, this. Uh, uh, <sighs> please try and relax. Please try and relax. Please try and relax. Hey, shut that thing up. <laughs> please. Please, I'm going to relax. I'll relax. You well, need me to do it? Jackie looks over. You need me to do anything, Doc? What's that? You need me to do anything. Uh, no, not right now, Jackie. I think uh, I think that's all we need right now. We need to figure out how, uh, how to, uh, or where this is coming from, to be honest. Okay. Hmm. Sounds good. Jackie heads out. <laughs> Useless guy. Have you found anything in dissecting the samples of the black bile, for lack of a better term? Mm, yeah, it definitely appears to be bile. Um, I want to touch it, like with my gloves. Obviously, I'm touching with the gloves. Is it like mushy, or is it like can I can I take the black off of them? There's, it's almost like a uh, um, barnacles on a whale. Mm, so okay. there's a very hard, very much on the skin. I want to. I'm gonna cut. I want to cut off some of the barnacles. And... Okay, roll. Yeah. All Ooh. right. Maybe if we can look at the barnacle, we can see just what this is. Six. The cyborg has combined their love of eradicating the virus with baking and is made of cake. Which great and delicious and moist. There's no sense crying over every mistake. They will just keep on trying. Till they run out of cake. Oh no. Cyborg's about to go play those. Suddenly, uh, behind. <laughs> oh, that Santa seems a bit shady hashtag infected. Mmm, okay. So, there's a ding. Uh, behind you, Seek, uh, your mm -hmm. cake, the cake you've been making. Ah, that was, the that was meant human for uh, I created for the humans. That was finished. meant for Dr. Joanna Holbrook because you knew today was a special day. <laughs> Let me get it out of the oven with my bare hands as I can. <laughs> it's very convenient that you have an oven up in your primary lab. Sometimes um, we need to cook things. We need. I, I, I just finished resources. installing that last week. Anna, mm -hmm. what did you what did Thank you get you when you help. when you rolled? A uh, nine. A nine. Okay, uh, so you cut into the barnacle, uh, and when you do, black liquid just <laughs> sprays out and lands on the cake, uh, uh, and a little bit on Seek. Oh well. Uh, Apologies, this is ruined. I appreciate the sentiment. 
In the name of science, I mean, we need... Oh, God. All right. Oh. Wait. I'll watch for Kate. Did the black substance affect the cake at all, or was it just like a, a black splatter? Um, at first it was kind of, it kind of splattered on. It didn't right. look like it did anything other than right. kind of like stain it. But mm -hmm. then after about uh, 10 seconds, it almost looks like it starts to harden around the cake. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like when you leave uh, pizza out and the cheese starts to sure. crust it. Sure. It seems like this. Barnacle. You want to smell it? <laughs> All right, roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for smell. Roll for smell. A two. <laughs> Twenty. Oh. It, it, it. Oh god. It it smells like someone took roadkill and put it in a blender. <laughs> oh. And then oh, put god. sour milk in there. Oh. Well, uh, that's ex extremely unpleasant. Please keep potential biohazards away from orifices. Okay. Mm. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. We don't know how it spreads, Zeke. I just want you know. You got to figure it out. Right. All right. Um, so, so it's spreading like all around here, right, on him? Yeah, it looks all like right. it's going down the veins around. You're seeing like kind of like they're purplish, dark purple black. Mm -hmm. Can I, I want to draw some blood from from him and see if it's on the inside as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roll for that. Five. Four. Mm. <laughs> all right. So you go up uh, and you you put it in his arm, but it's almost like a. There's a strain, it goes in, and you're able to extract, but there's almost like a gelatin kind of feel to it, as if you're Ooh. like poking jelly. Maybe too hmm. late for this guy. What? <laughs> you weren't supposed to hear that. So I'm that not asleep, you just gave me a painkiller. <laughs> Permission to Seek, administer more painkillers. <laughs> what? Seek, put him to sleep, please. Morphine. Uh, <laughs> roll. <laughs> Six. Ooh, two. Oh, oh. nice. Uh, shh, shh. Out. Mm -hmm. Permission to place patient in quarantine. Yes, please. Ew. How do you want to do that? Um, I assume we're in the labs, yes. so we're going to have little rooms where people can do individual experiments. Uh, in you can do like the little rooms. There's also cages. I'm going to put him in a little room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a bit distressed enough. All right, because he's so he's strapped into the gurney, the so you're going to. Yeah. I'm going to leave him strapped. Okay. Oh, he's staying restrained. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. I'm just going to push him in the room. I'm gonna shut and lock the door with my key card that I assume that I have. Great. Uh, so while you're doing that, uh, Susan, the uh, lab, let's call her the lab mother, as it were, okay. walks in dressed as Santa. Merry Christmas, everybody! It's tis the season. Susan. Oh, hey, come on! I know it's almost. Look, we are living in hard times, so you gotta take the goodness that you can. So Merry, Christ I made cookies for everybody. How kind of you to bring us gifts. As you can see, I'm excited. <laughs> you sure are, Seek. So she walks up and uh, presents cookies to all of you. Mm -hmm. Do you take them? I, I never turn down Susan's cookies. Never turns down Susan's cookies. Yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dr. Morrison? Uh, I, I'm okay right now, Susan. Uh, thank you, though. Before all right, and uh, Dr. It's Holbrook? Very kind of you. I take one, but I don't eat it. All right. Oh, you're new. Who are you? I'm Dr. Joanna Holbrook. I'm the director of development for the Penta Corporation. We're <gasps> helping fund this research. Oh, are you going to be here a while? Well, I'll be here as long as it takes. Oh, good. I can't wait for dinner. I want to hear all about you. I love new people and new stories. <laughs> <laughs> Very pleasant woman. She's the best. Seek, would you like one? Soup, yes. Thank you. I will consume my oil. Oh, Seek, you're a card. I gotta go walk around. Give me more. Give more to give these to more people. Susan walks out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Have a ple pleasant day. Did you eat the cookie? Yes. You ate the cookie. Okay. It's delicious. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, Joanna, what do you want to do with your cookie? <laughs> I want to. Uh, I I assume there's like microscopes and all kinds of things. Yes. In here, I want to actually observe it and make sure because I'm making very sure that there's no sort of cross-contamination before I consider consuming a cookie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you walk over to the, walk yes. over to the lab, yep. uh, put it under a microscope, yep. you take a little sample of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you look in, uh, what have you roll? Okay. See what you see. <laughs> Four. Uh, 
Pretty basic cookie, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate baking. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty basic cookie. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more sugar than you would like in mm -hmm. your in your cookies, but sure. Pretty basic cookie. Okay, Hallbrook, I can tell you that this cookie is edible, but it is not an edible. Thank you for the clarification, Seek. Can never be too safe, though. You never know. Exactly. You never know around here. As we say, we're not entirely sure how the disease spreads. Yep. I'm sorry, are you accusing one of our members of staff of trying to poison us with no, a virus? No, no, not, not at all. It would be more of an inadvertent... Seek, we're, the, just, we're just trying to see if it's, if it's somehow linked. transmitted through food or anything. It's... Virus via cookies. malicious. No. That would be malicious, no? It would be Very malicious. malicious. Yes, it would be malicious. Well, before malicious. you were talking, uh, the room where you restrain the patient in, you start hearing rumblings coming from it. I'm gonna go check on that and look through the window. All right, uh, so you go, you check, and you notice that the patient is shaking, almost like convulsing uh, in their gurney. The patient appears to be having a seizure. Permission to go in and restrain him? Um, yes, yes, and then I wanna go in after her as well, after Steve. Key card, open the door, her. go in, try and help. Uh, okay, so oh you go God. in, you're approaching this convulsing patient, what do you wanna do? Um, I will approach from the feet. I will see if he's foaming at the mouth. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you walk up just as you're getting to the feet. Uh, what are you doing, Dr. Morrison? I'm just observing because I, I trust Wh the... Where? To, I'm from the doorway. Doorway. Okay. So yeah, this room is not, not too big. It's probably you're about like maybe like no more than like three feet from Seek. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so patient's convulsing. You're at the feet. Uh, do you want to do anything? I want to see if he's having a seizure, or perhaps it could be something else. If it's a seizure, I'm expecting to see some sort of foam at the mouth, or Okay, so how, how do you want to do that? How do you want to? With my eyes. <laughs> you don't want to touch him? Find his... I don't need to touch him yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so you look, and he, it, like, black is foaming out of his mouth, and red's coming out of his eyes. It appears this patient is in a state unrepairable. I suggest we evacuate this room and sanitize it. I think it might be stage three, setting in seek. Um, okay, well, do we just leave him here? What, do we, what should we do? Joanne, Joanne. Yes. Get in here. This, uh, there's a patient. I don't, I don't know what we should do. From the outside, a repetitive banging is heard. It seems a reindeer is acting a little crazy and is trying to get into the building. <laughs> it has a conservation tracking tag on it named Asher hashtag infected. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> we will get to that. So, um, so you're, you're saying like, we gotta, what do you want to do? Joanne? Well, if this patient truly is beyond saving, which I have to agree with, I think it best to put him out of his misery. Please evacuate the room and we will call in a sanitation team. Okay. I'm going to back them out, mm -hmm. shut the door, Thank you, Dr. lock Robert. it. So when you lock the door, the patient in the gurney starts like hyperventilating as bla black and red starts coming and his body starts doing this, snapping the straps and then you just hear <laughs> as his body unnaturally bends backwards. And within the, hand, the hook of the bend, you just see <laughs> what looks like a hand pop out of the bottom of his back. <laughs> what the hell is this going virus is mutating the humans. I've it never is possible seen that before. Be I've never seen this before either. Oh my god, oh my god. Is I'm going over to the calm and I'm going to call the sanitation team to come working against sort of burn this room down. On. I'm going to have you roll. I'm going to have you roll for that. 12. Uh, nine. Okay, so you call the sanitation team. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> it's like it's going to be a loudspeaker system. <clears throat> right. So what do you say? Sanitization team requested in lab. Code red. Sanitization team requested in lab. Code red. So uh, the guy in the room, he's bent, this thing pushes, and it pushes him like off the table, almost like a puppet. Uh, kind of an odd, uh, almost like a marionette without the strings, if there was only just like one stick uh, in the middle of his back. Pushes him off the table and launches him towards the door with the window. And he looks at all four of you. I'm gonna put my hands on the door to brace it as I'm very strong. Please try and find a flamethrower or some sort of weapon to protect us. Okay. Uh, is there like a, a fire extinguisher in the room? There is a fire extinguisher, yes. Okay, great. I'll grab it off the wall. Okay. Uh, he looks at you and then he looks down and grabs the handle to the door. I grab the handle. Jingling it. 
It's locked with the card key, but I'm going to hold it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you. Let me out. Denied. I've never been so happy to have an android on our team. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why we, we keep Seek around. Okay. We I appreciate to... your compliment, but Wait. I am a cyborg. Apologies. Thank you. <laughs> we need we need to uh we need to we need to do something about this. He's really, really dangerous. He can he can cause us to spread even faster if he gets to us. Okay. We're gonna have to knock him out. As long as he does not come through this door, we are in no danger. The sanitation team is on their way. Sanitation team is on their way. Code okay, red. Let's just keep him in there. Okay. All right. I don't want that thing out. I don't Agreed. Want that. So, okay, so you guys are gonna wait for the sanitation yes, team. Yes, we're we're like guarding the door. Okay. I'm holding it. So at that point, uh, twenty. So at oh, that fuck. point, uh, he backs away from the door, goes like this, lays down as his, as the backhand thing starts clawing at the floor, ripping it up in chunks. Because you guys are on the second level. Oh. I'm going to hit the, <laughs> the big red button that you hit when shit's going down. Wow, wow, wow. So it's just an alarm. The lights are turning off, turning red. Alarm, alarm. And in the constant flashing, you're seeing him go further and further into the floor. Right. So whatever is attacking him is on the floor below. And the bed's in the kitchen. Is what that was that? down below us? The beds in the kitchen? No, what's down below you is the uh, other patients, the other, the other infected. Oh. So you're on the second level. The first level is like kind of the entryway. Second level is where you guys are with lab, kitchen, bedroom. Right. Third level is now he's digging his way down there. Right. Um, I'm going to get on the comm. Uh, uh, emergency broadcast. All personnel must evacuate or quarantine. We have an outbreak. Emergency broadcast. All right. Whatever is bringing him closer to it is clearly on levels below this. We need to abandon this level immediately and go find the source. Okay, okay. If he breaks to the bottom, there's there's more of them. There's more of, more patients down there. We can't let this happen. All right. Okay. <laughs> All security. <laughs> so at that point, the sanitation team has arrived. What do you want? What do you need us to do? What happened? What's going on? We have a quarantine issue. We have a patient that has gone level three. He is breaking down from his quarantine room into the floor below us. You must destroy him. All right, just back up. It's to, uh, two guys, uh, Chuck and Muck, uh, and <laughs> they are wearing like white sanitation suits yeah. and they have a flamethrower. Uh, Thank you for bringing a flamethrower. It's <laughs> <laughs> what we do. <laughs> they push a button opening the door and just start <laughs> just instantly. Not even taking a second to look to see what they're shooting at. Blasting into the room. And... All right. 15. Uh, and when they step back, uh, like a fire extinguisher system, go into the room to suck out uh, the flames. And when they do, the room is empty, except for a giant hole in the middle of the floor. I'm going to oh. run over to the hole and look down it. Uh, roll. we got to seal this room. Three. He's not even in the room anymore. No. What'd you get? They could come back. You see nothing. You just see like darkness. Mm -hmm. So wherever he landed is the uh, rooms, the lights are off. I'm gonna back out of this room, shut and lock the door again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we go check on the other patients, right. but I also suggest that we get into hazmat suits and take weapons. Okay. Agreed. Yep. We will put on our suits. And there should there should have been lights on down. On, in any of the rooms downstairs, there should be lights on right now. So we I, do I, have an he emergency backup system. He might have shorted out the system. electricity. <sighs> Chuck takes off his uh, hazmat suit. Will you tell me what the hell that thing was? We don't know. Yeah, I'd like to know. A too. patient reached level three. It is possible it is contagious. Please keep your mask on. I thought they didn't live past level two. Uh, this is the first time we've seen anything like this, Chuck. Fuck. Please, <laughs> please go inform security and the rest of the sanitization team that we have. What? Please go downstairs and inform the security and the rest of the sanitization team that we have a code red. Me go downstairs. That fucking thing's down there. You go downstairs. You're the robot. We are going downstairs. We're going. We're all going, Chuck. Please follow your programming correctly. Not programming. It's protocol, probably for a person. Please follow your protocol correctly. Well, you go first. Of course. All right. It is my job to protect <laughs> you, as it is your. <laughs> all right. I must say, I do not have emotion, but I do not like that guy. No one does. Okay, uh, let's... Seems, seems all right to me. All right, let's like suit up. We're gonna put on our hazmat suits. Mm -hmm. 
I don't bother because so I don't need to. What sort your... of, uh, uh, is there any sort of uh, thing that could be fashioned into a weapon that is in the lab with us up here? Um, I mean, there's a lot, and obviously there was things that she was kind of cut off the barnacle, so there's scalpels, right, things scalpels. of that nature. Right, right. Um, there are, Chuck and Muck have flamethrowers, mm -hmm. uh, so there are things of that nature. There's also, you could improvise, if, I mean, some of the lab equipment's pretty heavy. Pardon? So you could, some of the lab equipment's pretty heavy. Yeah. So if you wanted to just use it as a blunt hitting object, you totally could. Sure, absolutely. I'm gonna take a stool and okay. pop the end off it so I've got a pipe. Yeah. I wanna take um, some, like, beakers, and uh, combinations of chemicals that'll create a reaction that causes flames to be able to use as like napalm. Great. Uh, take a bunch of the scaffolds. All right, great. And I know there's a fire axe down the hall. On the ah, wall. You're gonna smart. go down the hall? Yeah. Are you taking people with you or are you going alone? No, I'm just gonna... Grab it on our way. Yeah. I wanna roll for it. <laughs> Eight. Eight? Sixteen. Uh, oh. The axe is not there. It's already it been, the someone it's, already broke in? It's been taken. Maybe mm. someone was playing some prankies. Uh, or maybe something else. Pranky or does. someone preemptively knew that something like this might happen. Possible. All right. So you guys start making your way. You have two options. You can take <laughs> the stairs. You take the elevator. We will be taking the stairs. Sure. Never use an elevator in emergency situations. Right, like, good thinking. I've never trusted the elevator in this building. So yeah, I'm 100% down with Aren't that. Aren't you the mechanic for this building? Aren't you the right. maintenance Look. for the elevator? Yeah, and that thing has acted up since day one. Uh, hmm. okay. Suspicious. Like for, for workmanship. Do you want to do you want to question him a little bit more, Seek? I'm good for now. <laughs> All right, uh, so you guys start making your way down the stairs, um, and it's not like the longest staircase, but it's not like super short either. Uh, it's pretty much just a long metal hallway down into the stairs. Uh, you're about halfway down when... Three. Uh, you're about halfway <laughs> down uh, when you just start hearing little like... Like... Seemingly on the other side of the metal. Hmm. Huh. Like on the outside walls? Yes. What sort of wildlife have you encountered out here? Apologies, but we are underground. Just, I mean, I, normal things are out here, but like coyotes and, but I, I don't, well, I mean wolves, but I don't really see, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never heard something like that before. Yes. So did you guys start? That's not a sound I'm familiar with. No. It is quite possible the mutation has continued onto the other patients. If the other patients were stage two and our patient went to stage three, it is possible that all stage two patients are now stage three mutants. So, okay, I'll go first. <laughs> so did you start going, uh, the scratching on the um, on the outside walls starts almost having like, it's not rhythmic, but it's kind of this, it starts almost turning in more into tapping, like less scratching, more tapping. Okay. Kind of a thing. Someone trying to send a message? Possible. Someone out there needs help? It does not sound like Morse code. It doesn't sound like Morse code, right? Hmm. So, in uh, the way the order is going right now, it is uh, currently Seek, uh, Anna, um, Chuck. That's right, Chuck's with us. Oh, Chuck and so Anna. and so hold on. <laughs> Chuck, uh, Joanna, and uh, Kyle, and then Muck. <laughs> Good old Muck. <laughs> he's, my, he's my buddy. I like that guy. Muck so Muck turns real. to the guys and goes, Ha ha ha. So what happens when it hits stage three? Mutation. Is that new? Did we know that? No. We did not know that, Muck. <sighs> well, Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> Yep. Did you get any of Susan's cookies? Oh yeah. That's right. Three of them. <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> she said take one. <laughs> Couldn't stop. Did you get one? I did, yeah. That was great. <laughs> so good. Did you have any? I didn't need any. No. Oh, I'm you... busy dealing with this muck. 
Why are we talking about cookies right now? I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the joy right now. We're probably gonna die. Let's be very <laughs> real about this. Okay. A guy just dug through a metal, metal floor. <laughs> Let me enjoy it. Seek. You ever gone on a date? There are many dates in a year. Which one are you referring to? Oh God, I tried. <laughs> Do you feel connection? I have many connections. Millions, in fact. They help me process my information. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. I don't think it's gonna happen. No. <laughs> Hashtag disrupt at some point in tonight's story. A pair of rather elderly guys in Parka stumble upon the lab. They introduce themselves as McCready and Childs, and they have seen this before 35 years ago and are here to help our heroes. Or are they? <laughs> oh, we will get to that. <laughs> and we have reached our first $250 goal, and what that means is <laughs> getting okay. to that right now. Uh -oh. So you guys get to the bottom of the stairs and you yep. start hearing. Okay. <laughs> it sounds... It this sounds is... like a young canine, but it's quite possible it is a human in distress. It does sound like a young puppy or something. Maybe it, maybe it's a wolf. How did it get down here? I, who Tri knows, maybe that thing dug a hole through the outside and now they're coming inside. I don't know, that thing dug through metal. Um, so while you guys are talking about this, <laughs> Chuck looks over and goes, oh, God damn it, they got into the, the goddamn dog enclosure. We have huskies here. We gotta, That's right. So we get around. It's down here. Shit, hold on. Chuck, uh, turn on a flashlight and you look and there is a little puppy husky. Oh no. I'm gonna walk over to it and pick it up by here. the scruff. You pick it up by the scruff? Yeah. Uh, 18. 15. Uh, 15. Uh, it mostly just kind of looks with its big blue eyes. And it looks over at... <laughs> Uh, it looks over at Joanna. Uh, I uh, approach you, it. It's up to you if you want to take this dog as a companion or <laughs> assign it to somebody cry. else. No, I'll take it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you can use this now as a weapon, but because it's a puppy, I'm going to make it that it's a plus two. Okay. Awesome. So if you want to use him to send off on attacks, what do you want to name him? Uh, I'm gonna... May I suggest you do not name the animal that is most likely to die within the next 60 minutes. Whoa! Hey. Whoa! Chuck and Muck! Whoa! <laughs> Apologies, but you are the one that pointed out our chances of survival are extremely low. You... I also said let's look at the joy in life! We found a puppy! Exactly. Call him Christmas. <laughs> I think that's very appropriate. This is Christmas. <laughs> you want to name him Christmas? Yes. I love it. Chris for short. <laughs> Chris, for short. <laughs> so, um, so the way the layout of, of the third floor is, uh, there's the bottom of the stairs where the dog enclosure uh, is there. At this point, all you have found is Chris, but there are other cages, so there could be other dogs. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, whether or not they can be infected, it's possible, but they might not be. All right. Uh, Chris is showing no signs uh, of, of infection, infection okay. at all. So there's other cages, though. Yes. Yeah, okay. Other, I would. Dogs. I would like to. Since we now have this dog who has superior senses, I would like to send, uh, like, I want Chris to kind of like lead a, 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 a like, surveillance, surveil, I don't know what the word is. You mean your husky to be a canary. The cage is all around. Essentially, yeah, to, to see if he has any sort of adverse reaction, because, you know, animals are, are better at detecting things than humans. Right. Okay, Is it, are uh, you thinking it's possible canines have an immunity just as humans have an do immunity? Do Docs, I am you, curious. Have, have you seen this infection spread to animals as well as humans? We've seen signs in some of the huskies before, okay. but uh, nothing um, nothing stage three level like that. Okay. Just mostly sick and black. But All then right. they usually they usually pass after that. Yeah, stage two, okay. I uh, was unaware this had spread to the animals. This is highly concerning. Yes. So, Drain, I'm going to have you actually roll. Okay. Uh, 17. Ooh. Natural, or are you adding the... No, plus? that's natural. Oh, yeah. So it's 19 nice. with the plus two for the dog. With the plus two for the dog. So the dog is walking around, uh, and it's sniffing, and you're trying to see if it has, like, a negative response right. to what is in there. So as it walks around, there are, like, uh, the cages are pretty set up. Like, there's about eight cages in total walking around, kind of going back and forth, and then it stops on the bottom third cage mm -hmm. and starts barking at it. 
All right. Uh, I suggest that we investigate from a safe distance. I will go over. Seek will go over? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. I uh, follow Seek and um, and call the dog to come to me. Okay, great. Uh, Seek, um, roll. Maybe roll. Four. Four, 16. <laughs> All right, so you walk over to the cage, uh, and you notice there seems to be a hole, like a hole was made, because the cages are against the wall. And it seems uh, like, much like upstairs on the third floor, there was a hole made. It appears the canines have reached level three. Mutation. This is not good for us. You glance down the hall and see a penguin with the name Tag Pork. Hashtag infected. Oh, shit. I'm going to close this cage door. Close the cage? Yeah. All right. Um, As you start to walk back, uh, you stand up and you start hearing... (laughs) (laughs) Down the hall in the darkness. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I assume one of us has like a, a flashlight or a. Yeah, I've, I've got a. Whole... Well, Seek has a bit natu- natural built in light. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, maintenance has a yeah, flashlight. Yeah. 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 And uh, Chuck and Muck have flames. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. What the hell is that? I'll turn on, turn on my flashlight. <laughs> and it's about a penguin that's maybe about three feet tall. Oh, these animals are getting in. And it just says, uh, uh, and it just looks at you and goes, <laughs> and black comes out and it starts charging towards oh, no. you. I'm gonna, shock. I'm gonna run at it with my. You're pole. running at it. Kill it with fire. And hit and it shock. with the pole. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you rolled for that seek? Twelve. Uh, three. Yeah, yeah. You. You. So what do you do? Describe <laughs> it. You hit it. What'd you hit it with? I have the pole. You whacked it with stool. a pole. Right. Punk. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> you hit him, and it's a little tiny penguin. <clears throat> Six damage. Oh, it just... <laughs> oh, the minute it hits the wall, just... <laughs> like feathers. <laughs> Please stand back from the biohazard. And right. just... Uh, an, uh, and a lump. Just okay. hits the ground. I want to examine examine the penguin. Want to examine it? All right. Um, um, I you want go to up. like poke it in the in the head. I want to see if, if, if that is enough damage to have killed it. And make sure that there's no, no, you know, no after effects or of it coming back. Okay. How do you want to examine it? Okay. So I want to um, uh, actually seek. Can you uh, can you poke poke the penguin for me with your stick there? I want to I want to be a safe distance away, but I want to make sure that it's actually dead. Okay. I'll roll for that. We'll yeah. See. Oh, oh okay. so close. 14. It went twenty. No. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh. Uh, yeah. It does. It seems to be dead. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 All right, so at least we know mm-hmm. that if uh, a blunt, blunt force can kill them. Blunt force. So we don't need to do anything special. Though I do wonder if the effects of this progression of the infection are dependent on the size of the victim. It could be. could be. But at least we know this. At least we know that the animals can be taken out like this. Is there any off. sort of, uh, like, <clears throat> salvageable, uh, like, a way to get sort of like a DNA sample of this penguin? Uh, roll, f- roll. Okay. Uh, oh, no. fell on the floor. Uh, seven. 18. Dang. <laughs> so you notice the black goo, similar to what was coming out of other people's mouths and all those other things, mm-hmm. starts coming out of this penguin's beak, like in, mm-hmm. sl- like slowly. But the minute it hits the ground, it looks like there's no more coming out. It starts to move with almost a sentience down the hallway. Sanitize. Yeah. Sanitize Chuck, immediately. Yes. Uh, Thirteen. So yeah, Chuck and Buck are like the fuck. <laughs> just, <laughs> and the black stuff just goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice oh. flamethrower. <clears throat> And just screaming, almost looks like a snake on flame, Ugh. and then slowly falls and dies. But we saw the direction that it was going. Yes. It looked like it was heading down uh, towards the patients. It seems to me, I know this might sound crazy, that that black bile had a mind of its own, like it was leading somewhere. It was. Uh, fire, fire kills it. I don't know. Oh, okay. 
We need to we need to find a way to contain this. Or we need to we need to check on the rest of the patients. Yes. We need to get out of here also. The kennels where the dogs were kept, how big are they? Uh they're they're big enough for the dogs to be a little uncomfortable, but not like cruel. Like, this like they're yeah, they're about yeah. like your normal dog box. I'm gonna go over to the kennels and I'm gonna rip off three of the cage doors and hand them out as shields. I'm gonna have you roll roll <laughs> for that for sure. <laughs> Come on. 16. Four. Okay, yeah, yeah. I got just... shields, baby. <laughs> Please use cool. these as shields against any potential wildlife. Okay, great. I appreciate that. Muck looks at you and goes, only three, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, but Eight it cages, you ripped you have No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You didn't want to go on a date. It's fine. <laughs> is there, a, um, is there a, a maintenance or supply closet down here that might have like, tool yes. equipment? Yes. That, that... <laughs> Hashtag infected, how dare you? I love porgs so darn much. At some point, the penguin will come back and haunt the party. <laughs> uh oh, oh boy. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I there is a maintenance closet. Okay. To get to it, though, you're going to have... So it's basically like the setup is uh, down the stairs, dogs on the mm -hmm. left, further down the hall. Here's the patient's door, double door, and then here's the maintenance closet. Okay. So you will have to pass okay. by the Go double by. doors of the patients. Okay. Uh, there is a closet at the end of the hallway. And they will um, totally see you. Well, yeah, yeah, well, um, equipment in there, it's probably like, we've got like crowbars, things like that. We have uh, cleaning agents we might be able to use to... Yes. For, you know, blowing things up if we have to get rid of more of these penguins that are mm -hmm. fucking getting in here. Agreed. So um, if we can get down the hall, maybe Chuck and Buck, maybe you can sort of watch out while we go in there and try to get some equipment. Lock and load. Yeah. I agree that we should go in fully armed, but also be prepared to evacuate at any time. I However, agree. I don't want to waste the research that you've been doing here. No, I wonder if there's a way for us to extract the black and see if that, I don't know, we, maybe we risk getting one of those patients to level twos and, and, and see if there's a way to extract it. Maybe we can save, save these people. Yes. I want to seek, what do you think? Am I being ridiculous? I believe our number one priority is to quarantine the infected, to protect you, and then to protect the science. There will be no science if we don't save these people. There's no, there's no, I don't want to undo the work that we've done. I want to actually save these people. Yes. Hmm. It is quite possible they are past saving, but the research you have already done may be very vital. And hmm. on top of that, even if the only thing that we get out of this is having some sort of sample from people who've reached stage three, we have to be sure to extract it before we eradicate the facility. Okay. So, how do we want to extract it? I'm sure you guys have supplies well, we have sure. in here supplies. by the, so. But we would we need can, an infected person. So, so we have to go into the ward where these guys could be all mutants? Yes, we need to grab one. <sighs> all right, so what do you want to do? Okay. Uh, I'll walk over to the, the doors to the patient's room and hold them while Chuck and Mark are on either side with their flamethrowers while mm -hmm. these guys go into the, the closet. supply closet. Okay. So you make your way to the doors. <laughs> um, and inside, because they're, the doors are much like upstairs, little glass, you can look inside. Do you want to look inside or do you immediately want to just jump right in? I'll hold it? the door and I'll look inside. Okay. Um... 18. Uh, so, looking inside, you see Susan in her Santa outfit, only the back of her, as she's walking down, handing out patients cookies. Does everything appear normal? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for it. <laughs> 17. Nope. <laughs> What seems unusual? She's almost robotic. Her motherly gregariousness. It's almost like she's just kind of... Are the patients reacting to it? No. They're just staying still? And yep. they're on their... Okay. Hmm. Unless I'm just holding the door. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, We're scavenging we'll the supply closet. Great. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to have... Yeah, I'm going to have Kyle roll. All right. Yeah. Kyle. 
Let's see what find we can us find. some good stuff. Twelve. Okay, so the supply closet's uh, you no problem. You don't even need a key. Yeah. You open it up. Uh, what are you looking for? I'm looking for crowbar, and then um, just like bleach and chemical agents that could be used in case we need to make more fire because we saw the fire worked. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anything that any kind of flammable. Yeah. Chemicals. Exactly. Yeah. All right, roll once more. Okay. I believe. Oh, that's a three. Mm. Fourteen. Oh. <laughs> so there is bleach. Okay. There's a crowbar. Okay. Other than that, there's like tape. Oh, <laughs> tape could be. <laughs> All right. Just other um, little things, but you never know. Tape of the items useful. you, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Of the items you wanted, it's bleach and a crowbar. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys. Um, I forgot we had that big project down here a couple weeks ago and we cleaned out a lot of the supplies down here, but at least we did get a couple things. All right, we'll take what we can. All right, so Seek and Chuck and Muck are at the door. Uh, Seek, what do you want to do at this point? Has, has Susan turned around yet or is she still walking away? Is that, is that Susan in there? Susan? Yes, Susan is inside. She appears to be acting erratically. Why would she have gone in there? Does she have clearance to go in and just be with the infected patients? I thought you were quarantining these people. They are in quarantine. I don't this know how she got illusion. in there. She, uh, that's odd. I, she looks, I think she's infected. What about the other patients? They're not reacting at all to- They are, they are almost like in a comatose state. And they don't seem, and they are not like foaming at the mouth, no black bile, no nothing. They're just, they just seem super out of it. Yeah, at the okay. moment. Is there any additional quarantine that I can activate to extra lock these doors or put bars on the windows? Uh, there, there is a system that would kind of put a, kind of like Jurassic Park. Yes. <laughs> put that bar on the door. You'd have to go all the way upstairs to activate it though. All right, I'll just, I'll take the, the pole that I had from the stool and put that over the handles for now to bar it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have you roll. Eleven? Four. Okay, so yeah, it just smoothly goes over. Uh, at this point, what do you guys want to do? I must return upstairs to activate the additional quarantine measures. But we need to pull somebody. I don't believe that is a good idea. The chances of surviving opening this door are minuscule. If you do activate the additional quarantine system, is there a way to manually override one of the individual cells? I believe there would be a way, yes. The question is, do we have the time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what do we want to do? I don't, I don't do? want to be trapped down here any longer than we have to with these, with what could be mutants and more animals coming in. If you still wish to get a sample, we may return to the lab where that barnacle sprayed on us. We might be able to get a sample off the floor. Mm. That area was not sanitized. Well, I wanted to see, I want to know if we can save a patient, if we can extract it somehow and save the patient, but... The patients don't appear to be responsive. So, the options are right now, uh, Dr. Morrison, you seem to want to see if you can get one of those patients. Seek wants to go upstairs, so I'm going to have you both roll. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Ten. Three. <laughs> You're going to try and get a patient out of that room. I'm going to follow whatever she tells me to do. You're going to try and get a patient out of that room. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try to grab Susan. Do you want to you follow through with this, Dr. Holbrook? Yes. What about you, Kyle? I mean, if this is the quickest way to get us all out of here, then, then I'll, I'll, I'll help in any way I can. We will need to restrain her. Do you have any ropes or chains or we anything? Have we have tape. Tape. <laughs> we have tape. There is some tape. It's, it's like packaging tape. tape. It's not the best kind of tape, tape. unfortunately. <laughs> oh. Not but, scotch, I mean, correct? It's not like... It's... Okay. Well, okay. Please say it's duct tape, not scotch tape. No, it's it's like like packaging tape. It's not Okay. It's not the heavy duty. Okay. Send a lot of packages from here, do you? No, I mean, we use it to... <laughs> uh, what are we doing? <laughs> 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 okay, um, Chuck. <laughs> all right, Chuck, Muck, stay on guard with the flamethrower. You gonna take that little dog in there? Oh, yeah, where's the dog doing? He's just around. Okay, let's take off the bar and let's let's see if we can restrain Susan. I'm gonna take off the bar and open one of take the doors. The lab. Susan, 
Susan. Susan turns, and when she does so, she smiles, and there's no teeth in her mouth. Okay. And there's just black coming out of her nose. Cookies. 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 Susan is infected. We should wait until she approaches the door, pull her into the hallway, and restrain her. Cookies. Susan, cookies. please come here. Cookies. I would like some cookies, please. Her hand starts to clamp around the cookie dish and crush it. And na long nails start to protrude out of her hands. And almost in like an Akira fashion, things start to sprout, ripping her skin. Cookies! Cookies! I don't think this is a good idea. She's reached an advanced stage. Do you stage. still wish to res restrain and the, the patients, mutation? All the other patients that were lying down, sit up. Nope. Nope, let's get out of here. And Never turn mind. and Never look mind. in your direction. Do you no longer wish to grab a patient? I don't want to no, grab him anymore. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm going to have you roll seek. <laughs> Oh! You close the door, <laughs> lock it, as Susan and the new infected start making their way, but they're not able to quite get out. All right. Do, I wonder if if maybe with Seek's help, I can if we can access a panel and maybe implement some of the quarantine procedures from here. Is, would that be worth trying, or do we definitely have Listen. to Listen. It's worth trying if okay. you can get the roll. Yes. But I do think that there is something to be said for going back up to mm -hmm. the site where we first saw someone advance to stage three. If nothing else, we know that they, whatever pulled them in, there's a direct route to it from where they busted through the floor. And if that, that black stuff was alive after the penguin, after we killed the penguin, it's true. who knows if, it, if the, the black that was on the cake is, is loose in the lab. That's true. It was moving by itself. I did not calculate for that. I mean, at least the door, the door to the to the quarantine cell where the we went through the portal, we, that was Still secured. Closed. So mm -hmm. at least it was secured. At least correct. I did lock that door. All right. That's intact. But do we want to try to lock this? I down say that we, we return to the lab and try to lock this down before we regroup and try to come up with some sort of plan to isolate any kind of sample of something that's advanced to stage three before we evacuate. Great. Uh, so you guys are going to turn and start making your way up the stairs. Yes. Yep. All right. Chuck, um, Muck, would you mind staying here with your flamethrowers to ensure there is not what? an outbreak? It is in your protocol. You must follow protocol. <laughs> <laughs> One. Yeah, they're staying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do not allow there to be an outbreak. More than your lives are at stake here. We're going to return to the lab and secure this area. Okay. So, you guys, uh, you go up the stairs. Where, where are you? Are you holding Chris? Uh, I have the, Chris running along with me. Okay. So you guys are holding, uh, you're running up the stairs. And when you're passing the stairs, you're here and passing the dead penguin. Uh, on the stairs, you're hearing the coo 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 Something out there. Against the walls again. And you get back in the lab. And when you enter the lab, Jackie is eating a piece of cake. <laughs> oh. Jackie. Hmm? I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to cyborg run over to Jackie, grab Jackie by the throat, run over to the door, open the open the door, throw Jackie in, close the door, lock the door. Uh, roll three times. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Seventeen. Twelve. Uh, five. Eight. Four. Okay, so <clears throat> I was lost win-win. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so your run is more like a walk. You kind of actually... Just, like, I slide on some of the crap Slide a little on the bit floor. and bump in the right. jacket. What the hell? Like one of those robots that can't quite yep. get its yep. balance back again. <laughs> and you, you pick him up. <laughs> what are you doing? Quarantine. Why? What? Shut up. Come on. You gotta tell me why. Quarantine. You... you Doc. Why were you eating that cake? The cake's- It was a birthday cake! We had a birthday! Biohazard, covered in black goop. Unidentified. Danger. What? Quarantine. Quarantine. It wasn't! It was- it was- it wasn't when I got it! There was no black matter- No! On the cake at all. You think I would have eaten black matter cake? Apologies, but the cake was on the floor. Anyone who eats floor cake must be <laughs> damaged. Jackie, you can't just go into a lab and just pick up a cake and start eating it. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. Why? Okay. Laura, that's kind of gross, dude. What? Is the cake still there? I mean, he clearly took a chunk out of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't eat the whole cake. Well, yeah. right. Was it good at least? 
What? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Were you going to have some? I want to examine the rest of the cake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we want to see where that black stuff yeah, is. Yeah, we want to try to like break uh, it down to its fundamental and, components. And, and I'm going to go keep working on the quarantine. <laughs> yeah. This, I want to lock down and what's see going on if I, I want to examine sort of the fundamental components of the cake and also in an effort to determine if it's been in any way altered by its contact with the black matter. Okay. Uh, so, Kyle, you're going to roll. I'm going to have you roll to see how yeah. you do mm -hmm. on the hacking. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a seven. Uh, three. Yes. Ooh. So you're able to turn on the computer, no problem. It does ask for a password and a username, which because you are in maintenance. You have. I mean, you I've have got my own, yeah. You it have that. should be enough to, okay. If so your you're... login information fails, please use mine. <laughs> username okay. is seek, password is knowledge. <laughs> so Very you're, subtle. You're, you're going at it. Um, yeah. At that point, uh, so you two, uh, mm -hmm. Hey, we're looking at this cake. You're looking hard. at the cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> both, you, both you roll. Okay. <clears throat> roll for looking. Ugh. Roll for cake. Ugh, come on. Seven, oh, eight. Wow. <laughs> uh, one. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you both notice nice, <clears throat> the cake looks fairly normal, but there is sort of a melty quality, like it sat out in the sun for a while. That's not what it did, but that's how no. it looks. That's odd. It's not exactly warm in here. No. Um, Shouldn't break down this way why without- would, Why would he eat melty cake? It was on the ground. Don't it's... judge me! <laughs> Jack, His are, mind are, are is you, compromised. Are you feeling okay? I feel fine. I feel fine. I'm pissed, but I feel fine. The pitch at which he said, I'm fine, is not okay. What? It's elevated. His heart rate is elevated. Man. His emotions a lot are of peaked. He's been drinking a lot of coffee, to be fair, and seems very sleep deprived. Mm -hmm. Where am I gonna poop? <laughs> We're just going to keep you under observation for a little while. That didn't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> you locked me in a room, I've had coffee and cake. I'm gonna have to go soon. That is not our number one priority. Well, it's my number two priority, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Goddamn robot. <laughs> Oh, God, I hate you guys. All right, all right Docs, we got the uh, <laughs> bars are coming down downstairs. We are, the quarantine procedures are, are in effect. They're happening right now. All right. So let's, let's uh, we can okay. all right, grab we, what we need and get out of here. I'm looking around for the black. I want to, can I search around for the black matter? Because I want to know where, where it actually is. Because if it's not making Sure. Uh, where are you searching? Uh, I'm searching the, around where the cake was, the floor where the cake was. Okay, so you're looking around, um, and... Uh, there does seem to be almost like a snail's trail. <clears throat> Dr. Holbrook? Yes. It looks, it's definitely on the move. It's around here somewhere. All right. Can I have little Christmas uh, try yeah. to <laughs> follow the yeah. trail of the black matter? Roll it, 100% okay. though. Uh, 19 with the plus two. All right, uh, so Christmas is making his way, mm -hmm. following it. And he starts making his way and he actually starts going up it, you see it goes down the hallway, mm -hmm. and he starts making his way upstairs to level one. Oh. So you guys want to follow him? Yes. Yeah, but I also want to grab like um, some container container mm. equipment. Yeah. Like in prongs and things like that. Um, a roll, roll for that. Okay. The 12. 16. Um, mm -hmm. There's only one. Okay. The rest are probably downstairs. Is there a telephone in here to call outside? There's only a telephone that kind of communicates with the rest of the um, only internal mm -hmm. the area. Yeah, okay. there's uh, major communications are upstairs on the first level. Okay. As far as like reaching out, because uh, now at this point, like second level, you're kind of underground a little bit, mm -hmm. which makes the scratching noises outside the metal very mm -hmm. peculiar. <laughs> are we yes. reasonably confident that the quarantine procedures at least worked as as we? Yeah, once them you to? once you pushed enter, it all just whoosh, it's on lockdown. Okay. This whole the whole the whole deal okay. and all the. Flashing red lights. Okay. It kind of became a calming blue. Okay. We, we, if things are safe downstairs, we could probably maybe ask Chuck and Muck to join us. True. They're not needed downstairs. Yeah. It would be nice to have some, some more Call backup. Call over the loudspeaker. Get on Go the ahead, seek. Chuck, Muck, please report to level one. Say again, copy. Sanitization crew. Chuck, Muck, please report to level one. 
Uh, do you want us to do anything with all these people down here? Is Santa? Susan Quarantine one? is initiated. Time is now to evacuate. Speak like Yoda I do right now for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> So when they start. The do you guys want to wait for them, or do you want to go follow Christmas? Well, Christmas is going. They, I told yeah, them to meet us on the first We're following Christmas, and then we're just expecting to see them whenever they show up. Yes. Yeah, on level one. Halbrook, when we reach level one, may I suggest you inform headquarters of the incident? Indeed. All right. So, start making your way. Christmas goes upstairs, and uh, he is walking around uh, what would be kind of the entrance, like it was a desk, mm -hmm. paperwork and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he makes his way and starts scratching at the front door, the main entrance into the facility. It's gotta be in there. Let's, let's go open it. Strange. Christmas come. <laughs> Scratches at the front door some more. But we still have one of the containers, right? To... Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so Holbrook, we're gonna have to try to grab this thing, All right. whatever this black matter is, and try to contain it. Are you ready? Is there a window in this door? Can we see what's on the yeah, outside at all? No. No. It's only just the door? Okay. Okay. Please allow me to try and catch it. Okay. All right, uh, actually, I, I would like for Chuck and Muck to be there with mm -hmm. their, with their uh, you know, at the ready with their, Yes. So uh, can I, uh, can we wait to see if they show up first, or should we? You can do that. Yeah. All right. All right, well, um, Chuck and Muck, are you guys here yet? I don't hear anything yet. All right, well, what do you think? You want to try to open this door? I will try and open the door if you will all stand back. Seems like our best option. Okay. 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 Uh, so who's opening, the, who's, who's opening the door? I will open the door. Do you wish me to try and contain it in your containment thing? You, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, I hand you the box. I'm going to okay. take off the lid. I'm going to have you roll. Put it near the floor, and then I'll open the door. Eight. Uh, Nineteen. Nine. So, Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, right when you're about to reach for the door, you hear behind you, Son of a bitch! And oh, then, no. And it's just Chuck. Oh. Uh, can we see what it is that, that he's engaged with? It's Muck. Um, oh. uh, you, you, you will. Uh, <laughs> so Chuck is running towards you guys, turns around and goes like, Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> He's spraying, and you see a little penguin is on Muck, oh, clawing at his face. Oh. <laughs> Muck! No. What is that? Was that him on fire? <laughs> He's just, I guess, screaming on fire. Okay. So he's like, ah! Oh! And this penguin is just going crazy. The penguin rips open Muck's uh, mask, his container suit, pulls back, opens its mouth and its beak extends out and just jams forward uh, right uh, into Muck. Uh, I'm going to run over with the packaging, kick the penguin off his face and put the penguin in the box. That's the only container. That's you, fine, I'm doing you, it. All right, roll for it. Zeke, we need that. 15. Six. Oh. Right. <laughs> so you run over and, you're, and you pull the penguin. And when you do, uh, it's biting down on Muck's tongue, <laughs> so it's also ah, hurt, but it's Muck. serrated, so it just like goes through and gah, kind of a thing, and you put it into the container, and Muck's like, oh. Uh, I'm gonna put the container down, grab him, and start walking back into the facility and throw him inside. Oh, <laughs> throw him where? Wait, in, wait. Inside the facility, and then I'm gonna shut this door. Wait, wait, so we're wait before you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you do that? Wait. Okay, wait, I, I, two quick things. Number one, uh, Doc, can you do anything for this man? And number two, uh, is his flamethrower still operable? And oh. I it's, it's on him, it's on his... Can, it, can I try to take it off of him? If he's, I can if hold he's him up and anymore. you can rip it off his back if you uh, want. You can I, attempt to, you can okay. attempt to. I don't think he's infected, he was just attacked by the right, infection. So maybe, right. Can you guys... So Scott, roll for it. Okay. Oh, that's a one. Eight, 18. So you walk over to Muck and you're trying to take his flamethrower. Chuck comes up with his flamethrower and says, Get the fuck away from my friend, you piece of shit! Uh, okay. I'm we gonna, told you we didn't want to stay down there, you fucking bastard! I'm going to grab his flamethrower and disarm him. Because he's it. threatening my scientists. Oh, please be good. That's a five. 19. Oh. Uh, you try and reach for it. 
he he hits your leg. Oh, I lose all of the human skin off my leg. It's just a robot leg now. All right. Calm down. You calm down. You're just my fucking friend stung right there. I'm his face like a fucking penguin. I'm gonna charge him and pinch him and punch him in the face. <laughs> Smash this guy. Six. Come on. Eighteen. Uh, Jeez. Uh. I'm gonna punch this man in the face. <laughs> well, hold on, so we gotta resolve this. Whoa. <laughs> so, so, you start the charge. <laughs> the other leg. It melts all of, it's just robot bottom half now. Great. You used to fucking scientists, you're gonna listen to me. You're gonna save my friend. You're damaging property that belongs to the- I'll damage more fucking property if you shut up! You just take my fine, friend! Fine, fine, I, I'll, I will I'll do what I can. Let me see. So I want to examine this muck. I want to see his. I want to see if, like, if he's oh, salvageable. <laughs> muck. Okay. muck, muck. I want. To see. <laughs> what I got? Yeah, yeah it was gone. Yeah. I have five. It doesn't look good. Yeah, it looks real bad. <clears throat> like he's probably gonna bleed to death. Check, frankly. Uh... Now, do you want to hold that information from? Chuck, or do you want to tell I'm him? I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to... Is he going to make should, it, Doc? We should probably let him rest. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Where? Um, we're going to we're gonna let him rest where he is right now, because moving him might might do more damage. Okay. All right, okay, buddy. Okay. So we're just going to let him rest right here, and then... You can go ahead and relax, and uh, we're just gonna take this stuff off of him so that he can, he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can elevate his feet. I yeah, think. yeah. Lift his feet up. Mm -hmm. So then I, I want to take the flamethrower and give it to Kyle, just like kind of. I'll, I'll get that out of the way. Yeah. Okay. You know how to use that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, buddy. We know how to use it. Oh God, I fucking. I'm gonna kill that fucking penguin. Wait, yeah, did, where, did the penguin just take off? No, she's in no, the container. No, she's out of the container. container. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's in the container. Kill okay. that thing. You a sample. Okay. All right. Chuck, if you, you've seen the kind of experiments these guys do, the penguin is in for way worse than just a, a quick death. So don't worry about that. Yeah, well, we'll... That's fair. <laughs> we'll make sure. Um, all right. What do we... Uh... So there was the door. There was okay. the door. And there is communication equipment up there. All right, we need to get there in order to hail an evacuation team. Mm -hmm. Kyle, please put on the flamethrower. I will open the door. Okay. Check. Were we gonna make a call first? Yeah, did you Are want to we... call first or go for the yeah. door? Call first? It... Okay, um, so who's making the call, Emma? Yeah. Yeah, okay, roll for it. Okay. And Dr. Holbrook, is your helicopter still here waiting for you? Is for it the return trip or no? The pilot okay. they dropped me off. This is okay. a drop off. Yeah, you didn't because you didn't come in with the pilot. He ain't sitting out in the cold. Three. Oh, six. Oh. <laughs> so you pick up and it rings. It rings a couple times, but no one's picking up. But you, there is you have the way to communicate out there. All right. No one picks up for a little bit, but there's also not a message machine. I'm not getting any response. So you could try again later. See if they call back. Right. Mm -hmm. To check out the door, can or you can I, wait. Uh, oh, wh is where's the trail for the for the the little snail trail that we saw? It was leading towards that door. So it was leading towards that door, but um, when we opened the because we opened the door, right? To, no, 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 we haven't opened the door. Chuck and Muck. Yeah, that's they, when they okay. came up right as we were about okay. to. All right. I think the best we can hope for now is that they see that a transmission was sent, tried to send a distress signal, no response. May I suggest leaving it ringing off the hook? Should someone answer and we do not speak, they will know something is wrong. That's probably a good idea. Yes. Let's do that. I go to open the door. Please be prepared. Prepare weapons and self-defenses. Do you still have your dog cage doors? Yes. Yes. I'm going to open the door. All right. You open the door. There's just a giant hole leading to the outside. Hole in what? What? There's a hole in what? The wall. Oh. Because this, this is, was this sort of the, this was the doorway to like the foyer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's basically the foyer, and it looks like the entire foyer was blown out. Uh, okay. Huh. Whatever That's a problem. This is 
it seems to be growing in power in numbers fast. I don't believe this was caused by the mutations. They are all in quarantine. This is an outside force interfering with our studies. Could it be that thing is growing? Growing, assimilating more organic matter to be part of its collective? I think it is. I think it, you're right. Okay. I suggest we evacuate. Are there any vehicles around? There is a, a, a ATV um, that can only sit two. All right. Well, what about, like, where are the... So the dog kennels are below the surface of this facility? Yes. Are there any, like, dogs that are up here <clears throat> with, like... Can we get like an Iditarod situation going on, <laughs> like dog sledding? Yeah, dog sleds. There, there are there are some dog sleds there. So where your guys is, there's a bunker about a hundred feet down. Okay. You'd have to go out into the snow. There is a bunker, and there are some vehicles uh, in there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and maintenance will probably have to keep sure. both to get into the bunker and to drive those vehicles. Right. right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to make our way over to that bunker. All right, guys, you ready? Yeah, us. Two can fit on this vehicle to go over to the bunker to retrieve more vehicles. vehicles I believe you have the keys. Yes. May I go with you to retrieve vehicles for the rest of the group? Um, you, you could, although you might want to stay here and protect the scientists. I don't know if I could Chuck to come with me. Which of you are the better driver? I have a driver's license. Uh, Same. It doesn't. Yeah. I will stay here. One of you go with Kyle to retrieve vehicles so that we may evacuate. Okay. I'll go with you, Kyle. Okay. Would you like me to hold on to the sample? Yes, please. Okay. All right. So you two make your way over to the uh, ATV. Yeah. Kyle, you pull out the keys. Um, you start it up and you start to head over towards the bunker. The snow is pretty thick, but you know, you know yeah. where it is. Um, so as you get closer, it becomes more and more visible. But as they go, you guys start to see them less and less and less. Mm -hmm. So um, at this point, Joanne, do you want to try and make the phone? Is this, so the phone's still off the hook? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Just this ringing. point's still ringing? Okay. So Chuck looks over at you. You think Muck's going to make it, Doc? Well, I'm trying to reach back up as we speak. We're doing everything that we can. Oh God, okay. Chuck, Look. I need you to tend to your friend, Muck. Please allow me to carry the flamethrower for you while you tend to your friend. You know how to use it? Of course I do. Okay. Hands it to you. So in the ATV, uh, you guys pull up to the bunker. bunker. Uh, it's about maybe the size of like, um, it's not m super small. It's probably about the size of a single room. Okay. Uh, give or take, a very single, simple room. Uh, so as you plot the keys, start to pull. 18. Uh, you hear a... <gasps> Out in the snow. Out in the snow? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's get inside as okay. quickly as possible. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna have uh, Kyle. You're gonna roll. Okay. Uh, it's a six. I got a one. Yeah. So you're able to Take it. pull the keys out. You have the exact key. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> right in, real smooth. <laughs> and you go in. Right as you open the door, you see a de uh, reindeer uh -oh. running up, black in its mouth, eyes crazy, uh -oh. heading right for the both of you. Um, we have a flamethrower. We have a flamethrower. Yes, I'm gonna turn that thing on, try to hose yeah. it down without, without too much collateral damage. All right, <laughs> roll, focused, a, roll for it. A roll focused burst. <laughs> focused chaos. Oh. oh, I'll take it. Maybe eighteen. Ah. Ah. So as you're going, or maybe it, I close my eyes. It just kind of. <laughs> oh. Chuck and Muck might have overdone it. Oh, when the penguin oh, was attacking, no. there is gas in the bunker. But currently, this thing is out of gas. Sure. <laughs> so the okay. deer just keeps going and going. Do you want to do anything? Um, I, I still have my scalpel, scalpel thing. So I want to try to like try to jam it into like its its neck. Like try to get under. 
Okay, roll and for it. it. Has the big antlers and the whole. Please, no, oh. that's a hard three. Oh, I got a five. Oh. Oh. So in the panic, <laughs> in the panic, you go up like this. You do connect with the deer, but it goes and black gets on you. Oh. Uh, but on your chest, okay. not your face. So just hits your clothes. Okay, I want to take off. But the... it causes it to like reel back, and that gives you enough time you can try and slam the door or try and take the deer out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to slam the door so I can like try to get this stuff off of me. All right, roll for it. All right. Thirteen. Two. <laughs> yes, you slammed that motherfucker so hard. <laughs> and I want to take off the clothing that has the black on it. Great. Uh, and then the deer is just boom, 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 slamming on the on the door on the metal. All right, we're gonna have to outrun this deer, or we're gonna have to try to take it out again with another way. Okay. Maybe, Maybe bleach will work. Maybe. Um. <laughs> Can I yeah, can we, I assess the the bunker for another weapon? Yeah, the minute you guys close the door, it's almost kind of one of those things. When the door closes, the lights turn on. Okay. So it's you Is can see. Is there an axe there? Perhaps. Mm. Can I roll for this this axe? Roll. Come on, axe. That's a sixteen, my doggy. Three. You there's an axe. Yes. There's a pretty good axe sure. there. Okay. And I, I got to refill this uh, flamethrower because. Oh it's yeah, out you got to check for gas. Yeah. So. Okay. And then do we have like a big snow vehicle that could fit a bunch of people, or is it? Yeah, there's something. It's um, it, this is the future, uh, oh, so yeah. there is something of a snow car. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. It's like All a right. dune buggy, but yeah, for snow. Exactly. It probably hovers. Yeah. One hundred percent. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's let's get some gas in the flamethrower. We'll get this thing started up, and uh, we'll head back out there and, and pick up the, the rest of the crew. Sounds like a plan. All right. Okay. Quick cut to Seek saying, excuse me, I must do an oil change. Uh -uh. I have to, I have to go pee. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, have to drink okay. Some Where's your <laughs> here? XLR cable. Yeah, just disconnect yourself here. Oh, yeah. Um, Is that not louder? There you go. Cool. Hey. Oh, easy. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> um, Roll for it. <laughs> uh, oh, you're out of oil. Um... Cool. So yeah, so you guys are, are getting things ready. Um, so we're cutting back to uh, Joanne. Yes. As Seek is kind of looked like almost kind of shut down to kind of do an internal change. Right. Right. I want to uh, inspect Muck, who I I of course know is dying, uh, to see if there's any sort of signs of uh, him having contracted the virus at all from being attacked. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um, Roll for that. Eight. Two. Um, so you look and you start to see the t part of the tongue that got like the part that's still there, the chunk. Right. Getting kind of black. Huh. Interesting. What? Oh, nothing. I was just checking on your friend. I'm glad someone is. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, uh, the phone on the desk you hear mm -hmm. click hello oh i run to answer hello hello hello, hello? asc services uh yes uh, this is dr holbrook at the currently on site at the carpenter reserve hi doctor listen this we've had an outbreak oh dear the patients have advanced to a stage of this disease that we've never seen before. We need to evacuate the facility immediately. Hmm. Well, we'll send some assistance up to you uh, momentarily. All right. Anything what we need is potentially an operation to eradicate the entire facility. Oh, Operation Zero. Yes. Understood. How many uh, survivors do you currently have with you? Uh, as far as I can tell, six. All right. We well, haven't encountered any others. All right. That will not be a problem. Hopefully we'll be sending someone to you in uh, about an hour. Thank you. Thank you. Please make sure to rate this call. If you, uh, good. Sure. I hang up before the like <laughs> survey can come on. <laughs> 
Uh, so back uh, in the bunker, <clears throat> you guys have loaded up the car. You got your weapons. Yeah. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? And the reindeer still. Yeah, we got to take out this reindeer to get out of here, man. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just get by the door. We have, we have our flamethrower and our axe, and we're going to double team this this mother effing reindeer. All right. How do you want to do that? Okay. Uh, so he, he's going to, he, yeah, he's going to, so I'm going to swing at it while you, uh, while you, okay, you, want, you, you want light pull, him up. You want to pull the door so I can hit it? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swing at it after, um, I'm going to open the door, and, and then I'll... he's going to, and then I'm going to. Okay. All right. In so, my head, it's gonna... perfect. Let's go. So yeah, you roll first. No, no. Roll That's open. You gotta roll again. That's a 17. Ooh. Five. All right. <clears throat> so you grab the door, you swing it open. 11. Six. Yeah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> and now roll Spray again to see how down. it goes with the axe. Spray that thing down. Whoa. <laughs> Bounce right up on top. Uh, Eleven. One. Yeah! Oh, the axe goes clean through its neck, <laughs> and the head just goes flying. <laughs> and as it does, it just sprays a black mist. Uh, <laughs> but it completely misses you guys. Very All right, good. Wow. good. Ooh. Okay. Let's get out of here. Pack it into the yep, snow hover into car. Yep, into the snow hover car, and then we're going back to the facility. All right, you start at the snow hover car. And it is so cool. <laughs> it's tricked R- out. Riding in style. Yeah. Oh yeah, it just creates like this vibration underneath, just <laughs> and you go again. You're only like going 100 feet. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, it's still real cool. <laughs> so you guys pull up to the front. Okay. <clears throat> Doctor Holbrook, we're back. I'm calling into the little hole in the. Door. All right. Right, we- I've been in touch with somebody at headquarters. You, you reached somebody? Yes, I told them that we needed to evacuate and also possibly terminate operations at the facility, if you catch my drift. Mm-hmm. We'll yes. be out in just a moment. Did you make sure that you rated that phone call? I didn't, I hung up before the survey was done. Really Don't have rude. time. It's really rude. <laughs> yeah. Seek. Yes. I want to like surreptitiously have this conversation with her. Okay, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Okay. I need you to sedate Chuck. There's no way he's going to let us leave. It'll be easier than trying to explain to him why we're leaving his friend behind. I shall sedate him. I also disarmed him when he started acting erratically. Yes. I shall sedate him, we'll restrain him, and take him outside. Yes. Five, okay, how do you want to sedate him? I'm gonna walk. (laughs) He didn't hear that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to walk over to Chuck behind him, put one arm down yep. on his shoulder and then just put the sedation into his neck. All right, roll for it. <laughs> Dang it. I think I hit a bone. That was two. Ooh, man. Uh, 12. So uh, you're, <clears throat> you're trying to sneakily walk up, but because the skin got burned off your legs. Oh, it's cha ching! Cha ching! Cha ching! Cha ching! happening? Just oh, these God. loud, awful sounds. <laughs> Amazing. Great. What are you doing? Comforting you. <laughs> All right. I'll try again. <laughs> Roll for it. Nineteen. Yes. Three. Okay. Eight. So he's like, okay. <laughs> Please try and relax. Please try and relax. <laughs> what the? Fu- Please try and relax. And I catch him. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Great. out. Great. All right. Put him in the car. Put him in the car. Fireman, move my shoulder. Yeah, walk over, put him in the back. Muck, uh, who's still semi-conscious, is just looking at you guys with his eyes moving. Uh, yes. I'm gonna walk over to Muck and give him one more shot at Morphe. Yeah. Roll for that. That is what you wished. Yes. Yeah. Oh! Natural 20. Oh yeah, it's just... Bye, Muck. Relax. Relax. Here's Relax. Here's an option. <laughs> it's very soothing. Do you want to give him <laughs> enough that it will kill him? Yes. Roll for that. Lethal. 18. Uh, it doesn't do it right away, but you've now given him enough that will... He's absolutely yeah, infected. There's peacefully, no way. Peacefully, peacefully go. Can I... Ex- can we try to extract, like, a sample of his yes. blood? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Good call, Let's scientist. 
17. Yeah, where do you, where from? Uh, uh, from, just from the, like, veins in his arms yep. to see if the infection's kind of, like, spreading if I analyze, am able to analyze it later. Great. Uh, mm. So, yeah, you're able to, you know, probably just, like, a, a, a good <laughs> yes, chunk of Yes, just, like, a, vial, a, little, a little vial, like, a as if you were just worth. taking blood there, to test iron levels. <laughs> it's red, but you do see, you'd have to look at it really closely, but you do see what looks like little black particles Ooh. kind of hmm. swimming around. Oh, boy. We need that. That's good. Yes. Good job, Dr. Hellberg. Right, I'm gonna put it in my like parka and yeah. venture out into the snow. All right. Snow car time. Where's Christmas? Oh, Christmas is still with me. You hold, hold enough? Yeah, I'll pick him up. Mm. Great, great, great. And we have great. our, our so, penguin too. In the container. In the <laughs> yes. Container. The contained <laughs> penguin. So we, we are and a... we're and we're leaving Jackie behind, right? That everybody we yes, all agree. Jackie's oh, absolutely Jackie. Jackie. He's still in the he's still in the lab. Do we want to No. No, we need to get a move okay. on immediately. Okay. All right. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> Number one priority, evacuate. And we've got Chuck loaded up in the back. Chuck is loaded yes. in the back. Okay. Chuck who's right. passed out. <laughs> and in right. fact, I'm going to take that tape and just tape his hands and feet together, just in case he got a little side infection going, whoa! whoa. Yes, because then it will at least have a moment to react. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, sorry, say again what you're doing? He's going to oh, tape up Chuck's wrists and ankles in case he, so wakes, he wakes and he's up. infected. Okay, uh, yeah, roll, 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 roll for that one. 14. Two, yeah, you just, yeah. Is there, before we do leave, is there anything we, that it looks like we can do to sort of bar mm-hmm. the doors? From the outside. No, this place, they kind of yeah, got Yeah, they've been installed. totally busted. But I mean, even that one door, that reindeer other... door, there's no way to see I'll pull, I'll pull that reindeer, that reindeer. Oh, they, that's true. Knows? That's true. Things are already out. Yeah, I'll just pull yeah. some stuff in front of the door anyway. It's furniture <laughs> and stuff. It's real easy. Just to block it. So, um, so you, you guys are ready to make your way to the car? Yes. Okay. Who's going in first? Who wishes uh, to drive? I, I, I will. I mean, I, I drove... I got it up and running Joe, the first yes. time, so I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you roll. Okay. <clears throat> 17. Get right in, start it up. There's no problem. Who's okay. second? I will get in the back with Chuck and also to keep a lookout at the back with my flamethrower. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm going to have you, have you just do that. Okay. Do it, yeah. it's no problem. Uh, who's third and who's last? I'm gonna join Seek in the back seat with the dog. And I'll sit in the front, in the passenger. So you're going in last? Yep. Roll. 15. Twelve. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that real like tingly on, the, on your back, like, yes. oh no! <laughs> so you guys are uh, able to get in. You guys get into the car. <clears throat> slam the doors, start it up, and just as it starts to purr, mm-hmm. get going, you see crawling down from the ceiling the very first infected, the guy who went through the lab. Oh, crawling down from like the ceiling, uh, like, oh, of almost, the building? Yeah, building? Like, yeah, like spider webbing down. He was able to get out. Okay. And oh. he... 15, jumps for the car. <gasps> I'm gonna and jump. lands on top of it. I'm three. gonna jump out of the top of the car, grab him, and throw us, both of us, out of the back while they're taken off. Okay, roll for that. 17. Three, okay, so yeah, you're able to just like, <laughs> grab him and So the launch. car is driving like this, and we go <laughs> out the back. So he grab, he, uh, he tries to grab for your throat. So I got a nine, so roll to see if <clears throat> successful. That's a five. Oh. Oh. So he grabs, and he grabs for your arm, but he notices at that point you are not alive, <laughs> as it were. That you're not organic in any way. Causes him to lose interest. So and I'm holding he, on to him. Well, he's going to attempt to try and break away to get back to the car. Okay, roll. Mm-hmm. Eight. Fifteen. Uh. So as you guys are heading towards the ground, he pushes your head and boom, you're, you're the one that lands. 
and the momentum of it allows you to let go for a second as he launches off you and heads back towards the car. All right, is there any way to like kick up the thrusters on this thing so we've yeah. got like a nice flame behind us? Because we've seen these things are susceptible mm -hmm. to flame. Uh, yes, uh, but it's hit, a little tricky. Hit okay. that turbo. So hit Kyle, turbo. See, see if you're able to do it, Kyle. Green die. 16. Eight. All right, so you're able to do this. Now, it should be said, if you do this, you will burn up a lot of gas very quickly. This is more meant for that kind of last final yeah. thrust of something. Yeah, we got to do it. You got to do we, it? We know help is on the way. That's right. true. We just have to so. survive for an hour. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you hit the thrust, and as it starts running, it does start to get hit with the, by the flames. Okay. 16. Just enough mm -hmm. to kind of, like, realize it's getting injured and get away. So it doesn't get oh. okay. roasted. So Shit. So it turns and looks back at the android. By this time, I'm, I'm, I'm a cyborg. I stand ah. back up again, and I pull out the flamethrower, and I start running with my robot legs towards it, with the flamethrower pointing towards mm. it. Okay. And you know what? For dramatic sakes... Ah! <laughs> okay. All right, roll for that. 11. Uh, 13. Ah! So you get, you like, you singe his arm, but you do it with such intensity, you actually also hit just a little bit of the back of the car. Ah. Uh, oh, a little too much zhuzh on it. <laughs> no, too much mustard. Yeah. All right. Do you have, do we have that crowbar? Yeah. Yeah, right. you do. Next we got stuff. Awesome. I want to use that crowbar to like, I assume there's like a back sort of window on this thing. Yeah, yeah the way, so the, I mean, the design is almost, it's kind of like a Jetsons car. Almost, sure, sure. It's a lot yep. of window. Yep. Yeah. All right, I want to, I want to break out the back window with the crowbar and take one of my like Molotov cocktails oh, yes. that I <laughs> the stuff that I brought to make them and throw it at the thing. Okay. Uh, roll for it. Okay. That's a two! Oh, oh man. So you mix it. <laughs> I'm gonna blow us up now. Oh, no. You mix it, you go like this, you know and right when you go right when you li lift, oh, no. <clears throat> Chuck grabs onto your hand. Where's Muck? His hands are tied. You're right. He just screams really loud. <laughs> it startles you a little bit. Uh, Where's Muck? Damn it, I thought that the cyborg gave him a higher dosage of this sedative. We're at higher altitude. Right. Uh, <laughs> that that while, while all that's that. happening, I'll, I'll, I'll yank that wheel around. I'll try to run him over. Oh, yeah? Okay. Mm. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that's a six. Three. Yes. Nice. Swerve in and... So you're able to swerve, but doing so also, you're still holding on to your, basically your Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Makes it like, <laughs> kind of a thing. You're, you still got a grip on it, right. though. Okay. But it definitely, like, causes the thing. Uh, so your turn, you start heading towards uh, Anna. Do you want to do anything? I want to... <laughs> how, how far away is it? So we're, we're trying to hit it, right? Probably about now yeah. 20 feet. 20 feet. Yeah. Okay. I only have it to axe. And I have, I do have more of the, um, my, uh, my scalpels. Like, I can, I want to try with, with great precision to, to try That's to, awesome. to try to dagger it. Sorry, I got hacked. I had a disco <laughs> moment. Try and dagger it? I want to try to dagger him with one of the scalpels. Great. Uh, roll for it. All right. With excellent marksmanship. Let's go. 14. One. Yeah! Whoa. So how many do you want to throw and where do you want to hit him? In the throat. I'm going for the throat. Going for the, just one? Yeah. Singular? I'm, I'm throwing one right now. I want it. All right. So you hit it in the throat and it just like, <laughs> just black stuff in like a single beautiful stream. Just comes. He doesn't, does he stop at all? Is oh, he... it stops him in his tracks. Oh, okay, it good. is kind of the startling thing. Okay, good, good. Doesn't kill him, but it does kind of like. Can I catch up behind him with the flamethrower now? Yeah. If you roll for it. <laughs> 13. Three. Uh, I thought you said 30. I was like, that's not possible! <laughs> no, 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 three, three, three. Um, so you run up and you're just like... Dowsing him from behind, covering him. So they get this great view from the front of him, like, ah! And like blood and fire. Yeah. And, and because he also has the stream, that lights as well. <laughs> so it just creates this fire stream. Wow. Shooting out of him. Um, the black is really flammable. The, the black matter is super flammable. 
Now we know. Apparently so. Okay, now we know. Joanna, do you want to do it? At this point, it's almost dead. Do you want to do anything or just watch the, watch the show? Uh, I still want to contribute to the to the show. I want to try again to throw the, the oh. Molotov cocktail and just add to the fireworks. All right, roll for it. From orange flame sprouted blue to oh. purple. Three. Yes. Ooh. So you just, whew, and it just spirals, and it just hits the thing right in the stomach, and then, Rainbows. <laughs> and you just see, because the black liquid is flammable, it does explode more so than light it on fire. And you just see arms and a head <laughs> in a beautiful show of gore. And it's dead. Nice. At least I'm, the initial one. I'm going to walk up to the car and just hop back in the back again. <laughs> yeah. Get everybody, get everybody back in. Yep. All right. Let's go. Is there any way for us to uh, basically exacerbate this flame? Like, try to literally leave the facility in flames? Mm -hmm. Um. So there is, I mean, you guys do have... We have all those bottles of bleach. You bleach. have the bottles of bleach, and you do also have... There's the container of gas that you use to fill up some of the sure. flamethrowers. You have a little bit of that left. Right. J Jackie is still in there. Well... I, I mean... There is a team coming who can yeah. potentially extract them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If we... Number one priority: evacuate. That is save your sample. So I'm save actually gonna. Data. So Kyle, we yeah. have Kyle roll to see uh -oh. how good he is at convincing okay. the team about uh -oh. Jackie. He's a nice guy, overly caffeinated, and he eats floor cake. He eats 13. floor cake. He's kind of convincing you guys. At the end of the day, yeah. there is a there is a degree of like he did say he was fine. You're right. Um, we don't it, want to be directly responsible for someone's death, I suppose. Responsibility through negligence yeah. seems somehow easier to pallet. I only want to go back to go get just my USBs of data that I've left there. All right. But uh, So I'm just kind of on like, yeah, maybe we should go back for Jackie. So how do you want to, so do you guys want to go, uh, is anyone going to stay with the car? Or is everyone going to go? I suggest we all evacuate, call for help, and wait for reinforcements. I agree. My understanding was I thought that we were going to wait for the extraction team to come and potentially evacuate Jackie, not for us to go in ourselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying we need to go back in. Well, Vanna wants to I get her USB. Blow, we don't want to blow but it you, up. But you want to go back in to get um, your data? Because that is what this whole facility is about. That is true, because I didn't think about that, about saving this stuff. Hmm, okay. Well. Where is there we... any way that you can access it remotely? It is in the cloud. You're right. Yeah, I think I would have backed it up. I backed it up. Okay, I don't want to go back to the Besides, cloud. I think that... But we don't want to blow it up either. Yes, and also, at this point, we've experienced the disease in a level that we've never seen it before, and not only do we have the actual sample of we have a sample. the infected penguin, right. but I also took a sample of... Blood. And the blood that seems matter. to be infected. Okay. All right. I suggest we make our way to the nearest base and set up camp there while we waste for reinforcements. I agree. agree. Can't talk anymore. Okay. All right. So yeah. you guys are going to try to make your way to a yeah. new base? Okay. Great. So at this point, you have about like probably 40 minutes till the backup team shows up. Okay. Do you want to wait or do you want to head to the base? No, no, no. We want, we want to get out of here. Yeah, we want to go to the base. Yeah, we're not going to wait around. We don't want the animals. Okay. To get us. So you guys get in the car. Uh, Christmas, everyone, Chuck is still sitting there going like, you guys left Muck to die, didn't you? I'm sorry, buddy. <coughs> he didn't make it. I mean, we all, we all know there's a chance when you sign up for something like this, but, you know, you never know it's going to happen or not. Sorry, man. It's for the greater good. Yes. Yeah, you're right. So you guys get on the road. It's about it takes about maybe about an hour <laughs> or so to get to uh, to get to the base. When you get there, you're greeted by uh, base leader uh, Peter Stevenson. Glad. So this is it, huh? This is all who made it. As far as we know. Apologies. What information do you have? All I know is that a backup team got sent, and if that happens, that usually means some bad shit went down. Well, some bad shit that, did go down. That covers it. All right, you're Dr. Holt. We do Hol have one person, uh, one other live person that's 
being quarantined in, <clears throat> in the facility. We left him there because he was exposed to the virus. He's contaminated, but um, he may may or not be alive if we're gonna. Well, don't worry about that. We got the extraction team heading over there. They should have gotten there by now. We have a communications board uh, down in the base. If you guys want to listen in and see what they find. Yes, please. Yeah. I don't know what's happening right. over there. So he starts leading you down. Dr. Holbrook, how are you? Doing well. Certainly not the way you saw this trip going, I assume. Not exactly. How's your husband? How's your kid? <laughs> My husband, well, we were never married, but I haven't seen him in about three years. <sighs> work to live or live to work, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was very sudden. He became cold and distant and then he was gone. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's why relationships are overrated. Uh, Human relations are quite messy, are they not? They are very complicated, yes. That's why we focus on work. My son's all right, though. I left him with my sister. Still seems to show no sign of having contracted the virus whatsoever, despite the fact that, well, a lot of the kids in his school, you know, yeah, that's why me and my wife never had one, you know? It's, uh... So you, you predicted a virus like this was going to happen, so you and your wife never had a kid? Just we didn't in predict case a virus. No, 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 we didn't predict a virus. <laughs> I mean, but this has been happening. I've only been married six months. This is <laughs> the virus started two years ago. You calm down there, jumpy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm on, I'm on edge, okay? It's been a very long day. Fair, fair. <sighs> We've seen some crazy stuff, man. We just want to make sure that if Jackie can get out of there, okay, but otherwise we want to make sure that place is burned to the ground. Sounds good. Opens up, uh, pushes these curtains aside into this room, and you see computer monitors, uh, speaker systems, mm -hmm. and you see on the side of the wall there's a map with red dots mm -hmm. scattered across it. What are these dots on the red map? Those are currently the most affected zones from the virus. Also, ironically, the zones that had the most digging of natural resources on the Earth. Well, you just kept going and going and going, and it turns out there was a lot of bad shit buried right. for a long time. Do you believe this is a virus that once existed previously and has been reawakened with the digging? I mean, I'm not a scientist. I'm an army guy, but that seems about right. Almost as if... Occam's razor. We've tapped in too much to our natural resources, depleted them, and it's almost like the, I don't know. It's like almost the, as if the Earth is a ship and it is rejecting its occupants. Yes, like it's fighting back. There's only so many times you can uh, throw a rowdy house party before you get evicted, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's one metaphor for sure. Mm -hmm. I think it is very important for the human species to share this knowledge and inform others of the global catastrophe that is incoming. Yes. Listen, we did manage to extract some samples of what we experienced at the Carpenter Outpost. Including this, this penguin. <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you give him a name? It is best not to name animals that will die within 60 minutes of acquiring them. Although this one, for some reason, has stayed alive. The past couple of hours. So it's I don't know. A, a thing that used to be a penguin, anyway. We we killed it once, and it's still. It's I don't know. I don't. I, I it came back. Yeah, we saw that. It. Uh, you saw that. Man of ours, <clears throat> about a week ago, got infected. Turned. And, uh, you had an outbreak seven days ago and did not inform the rest of the staff. Well, we informed who needed to know. It appears that more people needed to know, as there has been further outbreaks. Well, hindsight's a beautiful rewrite, isn't it? I don't believe you'll have a job after this. I don't know if I'll be alive after this. It's very real. What are we going to do? What's going to be done about this? 
And don't tell me what you think I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. Pray. That never helped anyone. Oh, I know. It's sort of the only option we have left. What's going on here? Is the situation more dire than you are letting on? How long has it been since you've had communication with the true outside world? I'm not talking about a post an hour away or family member here or there. How did you this morning. Where did you come from? I flew in from headquarters this morning. Yeah. So headquarters at this point, the company, who we are, all of this, kind of the last remaining people. We are now the minority. The plague has taken over more than we ever thought it could. It turns out once infection hits, it's pretty rapid. They're all level, level one, level two, or level three? It varies, but level three is where it gets really fucked up. It's when the mutations yeah. start happening. You ever see somebody eat their own eyeballs? I can't say I have. I have. He didn't see it though. Ha, ha, ha. Has anyone had- Dire times you need humor, I appreciate that. Has anyone had any luck in figuring out, how, is there any way to stop this virus? Is there any way to- Well, that's why you guys are here. You're the scientists, you're supposed to find the cure. What data do you have? Have you found anything? Can you access your files? Let us into <coughs> your lab. At least we can analyze the specimens that we have and try to recover Dr. Morrison's data. All right. We want to do some work on this penguin. All right. <coughs> we want to go to the lab. Sounds good. Walks you out of the tent. You see this other facility. It looks like it's kind of uh, contained within a giant sphere. And there's lights shining all around it and lights shining out. Basically, the idea being no one can get out or in without being noticed. Right. <laughs> Puts on a hazmat, hazmat suit, hands the four of you hazmat suits. Okay. Uh, and at this point, Chuck has also kind of gone off uh, with some of the other military. <laughs> yes. So uh, he leads you into their lab, mm -hmm. points to the facility and goes, have at it. Okay. Not that I think it'll do any good. <clears throat> okay. I want to, uh, seek, I, we need to sedate this penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. So I want to, uh, I want to examine, like, the, I want to open the beak and look inside and see, see what I see. If there's anything, if the black is moving at all. Can I'm I just you? hold it down with yeah. my bare hand? My, Great. Ro my robot hand. Ten. Uh, you can see like it's not moving, but there's definitely like black within its mouth. But it doesn't seem to be moving at the moment. But that could also be due to the sedation <laughs> that yeah. just took place. <laughs> right, <laughs> Doctor Holbrook. I, I, I'm wondering if if it's become a part of the same the if a part a part of the penguin. Or right. Or it's its own entity. But it seems that the black substance unto itself, it seems that it's sentient. Mm hmm So can it be removed? And can... And transferred to something else? And can this be saved? Dr. Halbrook, I mean, may I please see that vial for a moment? I take out the The vial blackness the seemed to react to other blackness earlier. And My thoughts exactly. The vial near the penguin, see if the penguin reacts to it. You see the black that was floating around before trying to go... <laughs> to the bottom of the vial. It is quite possible that this virus is not a virus at all, but a living organism that is one creature, kind of like a coral reef, many right. small parts to one big creature. So if we were able to determine the source and take it out, then maybe it would stop. Kyle, what do you think about this? I mean, any way we can put an end to this thing. Right, okay. I want to put the penguin back into the little the thing. Great. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, military head comes back and he goes, uh, so they found your friend Jackie. 
Uh, that's all they found. Otherwise, the facility was empty. And... It was empty? The patient floor. The patients were in quarantine, along with a woman named Susan, who was wearing a Santa outfit. Were they located? All they found was a hole. A hole. Seems they all dug out. Well, what about Jackie? Is he okay? He's on his way here. Is he infected? Seemingly no. It is possible he is immune. Some good news. And that I owe him an apology. If he is immune, if for some reason this black substance rejects him as a host, or maybe his body is able to fight it in some way, it's possible still that it could be in him and we could somehow use him to try and locate the source as bait. Right, yeah, as bait. Yes. As bait. Okay, I think that's a good plan. Are are we gonna tell him he's being used as bait? I think that's just a need to know basis. I think we can talk with him reasonably. He is a man of science after all. That's true. You did eat floor cake from what you told me. (laughs) All right. Well, let's go and intercept Jackie. Okay. All right. So you guys start to make your way out. Um, And you see uh, in the distance, there is uh, another vehicle approaching. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like our experts are here. I thought that... They were the experts. These are a different kind of uh, expert, I suppose. I see. As the car stops, the headlights dim, two people step out, one wearing a cowboy hat with a big brown beard, <laughs> long brown hair, uh, the other, an African American gentleman, bald. This is Mr. McCready and Mr. Childs. They've dealt with a similar situation long ago. Mm-hmm. McCready, Childs, Dr. Holbrook, pleasure to meet you. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Well, as far as we can tell from <clears throat> our best guess analyzing the data that we have, it seems that what we're dealing with isn't a virus at all, but some sort of sentient, malignant Social organism being. You got to just destroy it all. Well, we got to find the source in order to destroy it. And we have escaped infected. We don't know where they are at this point. Why don't you burn them all down? Just burn them right away. Well, we, we... thought we could save save some some of them. Well, that was that was your first mistake. I realize that now. Well, I don't know what we can do from here. Just you say you us. got a friend coming, someone's coming. We have one employee of the facility who seems to have perhaps been able to reject the parasite, for lack of a better term. Child looks at you guys. Oh, we'll see. Is there any possibility of immunity against this virus or organism? Well, hell, nothing I'm aware of, but it's possible. I mean, hell, anything's possible. Who would have thought all this was going to be happening? Is it contagious, airborne, bloodborne? Seems to be if it touches you. If it touches you, you're fucked. I believe almost all of us have been touched by it at some point, so the theory of Im- being immune may be possible. You all literally touched the black thing, it hit your skin? No. No. Well, that doesn't sound like you're, it sounds like you're fine. Hmm. How did you quarantine this situation before? This has left the building. Killed it everybody. Is... Were you able to track down escapees? There were no escapees. I killed everybody. Really? Because it appears we have an infection again. Perhaps that is your doing somehow? Or perhaps there's more of these fucking things under the earth. Again, I think that what it is is we need to locate and eradicate the source. The source. So, do you have any... Do you have any methods of maybe locating the source? It seems to have a survival instinct about getting away. 
sort of has a pack mentality. And any pack usually always tries to run back to its cave. I think you scare it, put the fear of God into it, see where it goes. All right. So we have to go back. We have to go somewhere that we know it to be concentrated. We try to destroy it there. Well, the army had that map with all the, the red dots on it, so they seem to know where these things are, mm -hmm. where these outbreaks are happening. At yes. Least. Maybe we can find the one with the most, the highest, co highest concentration. Yes, because if any other locations were able to fight back by that theory of scaring it, it would mm -hmm. tend to gravitate back towards wherever it came from. So wherever the highest concentration is, <coughs> that should be where the source is. Okay. All right. Well, let's go look at the fucking map. All right. All right. So you guys follow McCready and Childs uh, into, um, back to the area with the map. The military leader looks at you guys and goes, starts telling you the story of what happened to McCready and Childs. Uh, these two uh, 1980s, we found out what happened to them and, and soon enough, the ability to freeze people and put them in a cryo sleep became a thing. So we did that to these two in case anything like this ever happened again. Oh, well, here we are. So you go up to the map, and you do see the red dots do <clears> seem <throat> to concentrate. It goes further and further and further, and it's not that far. It almost seems to be in the center of where you pe where you are now and your initial base, Carpenter Base. Okay. So it's somewhere in between. Yeah. So it looks like we're not too far from, from the source. Okay. Well, we know it's afraid of fire. Uh, all right, so yeah. we want we, let's load up on some. Could you please take us to the sanitization department so we may load up on flamethrowers? I like this one, McCready says. <laughs> does uh, does the general have any heavy weaponry at his disposal? Can he call in some sort of? Yeah, I was gonna say we should strike, send a team in. Yep. Go nuclear. We have a we have a lot of things. Okay. What are you looking for in particular? All right. Well, we gotta blow this thing off the face of we the do. earth, right? Yep. We Listen, eradicate it. we'll go in initially as a scouting team, assess the situation, see what's there, if there's any survivors, and then on our call, once we determine that this is in fact the source that we're looking for, I need you to blow it. We need to destroy it. Sounds good. All right. So you guys start heading out. Uh, you guys start heading towards, uh, you gather your weapons. Yep. And you head over to the vehicles and it's a lot of helicopters. Hmm. Our helicopters are arriving? No, that's where, that's what you guys are going to take to get ah, to Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, to be able to bring more of a crew that could fit then into a future car. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you, guard, you guys start to approach the helicopters, you see v another vehicle is approaching. The doors open up and out comes Jackie. Oh, oh Jackie! Hello. Hey. How are you feeling? Did you use the bathroom? What? <laughs> Did you get a chance to use the, the restroom there, buddy? Did I get to go to the bathroom? Yes. Yeah. Did I use a restroom? No. <laughs> How are you? Uh, we're we're going to take care of business. Oh, I already did. Yeah. You look... You, you look good. I'm glad you made it out I'm okay. I'm glad you made it out. Yeah. I'm glad I'm the only person that had any of that fucking cake. We did that we, for your own safety. For the I, safety I, 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 you, saw, you saw coming out of there I get it, I get how, it. how messed up that situation was. Uh, all right. We apologize for leaving you behind, but we left you to be recovered by the experts. Yep. Which, clearly, they did their job. <sighs> yes. Thank you. So what's the plan? What are we doing? We're attempting to locate the source of whatever is causing this black matter that's coming in and seemingly infecting people. In layman's terms, it appears as if this organism works like a pack and there is an alpha that they answer to. If we destroy this alpha vis-a-vis -vis head vampire status, perhaps we will end the infection. All right, well, let's go save the world. Jackie jumps into a helicopter. 
Oh, okay. Getting in the helicopters. Yep. Going to save the world. Are y'all getting in the same helicopter? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll hang out the side. <laughs> and we, like have, a badass. we have Chris, too. Or the, the of course. Emma's yes, Christmas. Yeah. So in the helicopter, it's the four you pilot. What helicopter? Uh, oh, can, we, can we bring Chuck? Is he... Uh, no, I feel like we should leave Chuck behind. Chuck, this has, has Chuck is emotionally like compromised. Want revenge yes. for what happened to Mike. All right, all right. <laughs> we'll, check, we'll check in on him when we come back. Uh, six. Yeah, Chuck, I left behind. <laughs> um, so you guys get into the helicopter, and in your helicopter is for you, pilot, McCready and Childs, in their own helicopter, and then Jackie and the military leader. And the third helicopter is a total of five. Okay. So you guys are going. Uh, and at this point, it's starting to become evening. Mm -hmm. And evening in Antarctica is both beautiful, but very Real dark. cold. Very dark. Very dark. cold. Uh, so you start to get near the drop zone. Mm -hmm. um, the pilot turns to you guys. I think that's it. I think this is your stop. All right. Wait for our mark. And then come get us. <clears throat> All right. Brings the chopper down. Yep. The other choppers start to land around you. The military leader rocks up. Okay, so the plan is we have to get an infected. We gotta freak him out. Did you guys bring anything? Fire. <laughs> they seem to hate fire. They're highly flammable. Flamethrowers. So we're hoping to bait him out with the fear of the fire. All right, well, it sounds like we got plenty of weaponry. But we're never going to know where to dig unless we take care of one of the infected first and they start running. We know where to dig. Dr. Hobrick, would you please take out the vial? <clears throat> Perhaps it can lead us in the direction of the darkness. We see which way on the vial it's pressing. Uh, it's still kind of floating a little bit. Okay. Hmm. What if I, if we if I have a little lighter and then I, I put some flame next to it, will, will does it the black matter move? Its does direction the yeah. starts to push on the other side. Okay. So, it's, so maybe it's that way. If it's trying to, to it's run trying that. to get away from the flame. Get away. But it's, so if I put Perhaps it directly if, under, yeah. directly under to see if it goes into a certain. direction. And then remove it. Will it settle one direction? And it kind of just kind of keeps pushing to the right. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Right. It keeps so, pushing yeah. the one way. Okay. All right. All right. I suggest we That's follow as it. Good an indication as anything. Okay. All right. Follow the right. Mm -hmm. So okay. this little band, all parked. Yep. <laughs> You're all making your way, following the vial. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. At this point, you hear in the distance. Nineteen. Oof. Uh -oh. You hear cookies. Oh. No. oh. Cookies! I believe Susan is approaching, or the entity formerly known as Susan. Coming out of the snow Get ready. is not just Susan, but all the other patients that were in the facility at one point, which comes out to about 10. Okay. Form a line, flamethrowers up! I, I, mm -hmm. I think we're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, we're launching a flame wall attack. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, all four of you roll, and I'm going to roll for McCready. Uh, okay. <laughs> 15. Uh, 3. 10. 20. Whoa! Uh, McCready got an 18. So it is a wall of doors, except <laughs> for Joanne. <laughs> so it's just. <laughs> right. And just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I think mine's out of gas. <laughs> just chuck it. You chucked it? All right. <laughs> Step back. Watch it burn. And Sorry. they <clears throat> all fall on their faces. We win. One eight sixteen. Uh, oh, no. So you burn about like half half of them, <laughs> right? Uh, three of them get scorched, but they're able to get away. Sixteen being Susan is able to kind of like oh. matrix down. Her back cracks Ew. in a bunch of ways, and then she backward digs yeah. down into the snow. Like exorcist style. Yeah, yeah, but digging too, going underground. Yeah. Oh. Digging underground. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. There, there it is. The source. It's the concentration. Yep. We, all right. All right. There's still three that are not that are out that are right. kind of burnt. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are gonna run towards you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Nineteen. Uh, oh. And they are gonna leap. They're gonna leap for Joanne because she had the one not oh, working. Oh no! Throw. Come on. Roll to see if you avoid. <sighs> 
Nine. Seventeen. Oh, Ooh. damn it. Oh, <laughs> so they, la <laughs> they land on you. Do you three want to try and do anything? Yes, I'm going to yes. grab one and rip it off her. Okay, Throw right. it back towards Susan. Eight. Eighteen. Uh, <sighs> just rip a chunk of flesh off. You rip a chunk of flesh <laughs> a bunch off. Of goop. And that's all that happens. Um, I, I'm assuming we have other weapons too, so I want to just like yeah. try to shoot them. I want to try to shoot him. You're trying to shoot him? Yep. Okay, roll for it. Five. Ugh. Four. Oh! Ah! So where do you shoot? In the head. Right in the head? Yep. Okay. You aim, fire. Like this. <laughs> Apparently. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Joanne, roll to see if you avoid getting smashed oh, in blood. Or splattered or... Uh, Eleven. Uh, three. Yeah, you're able to pull your head back. <laughs> and... Like it just avoids you. <sighs> and then I got I got one of those uh, those batons, those collapsible batons. Oh I, yeah, I, like a I don't want baton. something. Yeah, I don't want something edged to fight these things. Right. I want blunt, yeah. blunt instruments. No, no splatters. Gonna bash, bash attack. Wow. Oh no! And that's a one. That's a hard one. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah. uh, you accidentally hit Joanne. <laughs> You're like. Okay, ah. Hit the Sorry. thing, not me! Sorry. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, so the thing now turns and uh, looks at Kyle. Eleven makes a leap for you. See if you avoid. Okay. Uh, eight. Three. Yes. Oh. So you you avoid. Okay. McCready walks up, flamethrower in hand. Eat this, you piece of shit. 15, and the creature gets 10. Ugh. So McCready's able to... Yes! Yes! Okay, take it out. Ah! And the creature runs uh. into the other creature, <laughs> causing just... Chain <laughs> reaction. Just, just gore. Just nothing but gore. Ugh. So now there's a hole that Susan went into. Mm -hmm. You guys want to make your way towards the hole with the military? I'm going to pull my flamethrower mm -hmm. up against my body, walk over, and <laughs> jump down. All right. So... Joanne, mm -hmm. when you got hit in the chest, uh -oh. it opened, the, broke the vial. <gasps> no! Oh. Uh. Now, roll to see whether, like Anna, it just gets on the shirt. Right. So you're able uh -oh. to take it off and be fine, or if it makes right. skin contact. Emergence. 14. 13. <gasps> oh. So it, it broke. <laughs> But it didn't <clears throat> break through the shirt. Okay. Uh, wow. Do you want to tell anybody? Or are you kind of going to... Well, <laughs> I mean, at this point, I it doesn't matter. We're, we're just, we're in this military operation. You're in it, you're so in it. I'm yeah, not yeah. going to say anything right now. Great, great, great. Um, and so, so you guys jump down, all of you, Jackie McCready Childs, <laughs> mm -hmm. military leader, into the hall. Um... And when you get down there, it just feels like the earth is pulsating. Gross. And you just hear in the echoey distance, cookies. Uh, I'm gonna touch <laughs> touch the wall and see if it pulls back with black mm -hmm. stuff on my hands. Okay, roll for that. 15. One. Um, there, there, there is, yeah. It's the very, is the same black stuff? <laughs> yeah. But like you even touching mm -hmm. it kind of made the wall go, like start running. As moving it were, away because it knows yeah. I'm not alive. I've yeah. got like this much alive stuff on me. <laughs> the yeah, rest exactly. is metal. Okay. It appears as if this entire <coughs> room is made up of this black stuff. It is possible that this layer of earth is entirely black stuff. We're gonna have to destroy it all to ensure that the source is taken out. Yes. Do we have any more fuel we can spread around and ignite? We should. Yeah, we do. That's what we brought with us. Yeah, I mean, those military guys, yeah. they brought all sorts of heavy... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we should burn this place to the fucking ground. Mines and bombs and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, let's... Here is the issue. I was not expecting all of you to follow me down here. How are you planning to get out with your lives? We need to make sure that we actually find where Susan's at, because wherever Susan is, is the actual source. Right. I, this is, it's down here, but we haven't found the actual thing yet, so... So you don't have a plan to get out alive. It's for the greater good. Admirable. 
We're gonna okay. follow towards where Susan, we can hear Susan. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys start making your down, way down the hallway and the pulsating just seems to kind of be almost growing like, and it starts having like a heartbeat rhythm to it. Huh. And you start hearing the cookies, 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 getting louder and louder and louder. And the cave, it almost feels like this is like a cave that's like enclosing and the walls are pulsating around you and then opens up into this wide, cavernous nothingness almost. Do we see Susan? You see Susan stand, like her red of the Santa suit standing out and just in this darkness. And she puts her hands out and almost starts to float. I'm gonna start walking towards her with my flamethrower pointed at her, not on yet. Okay. But it's pointed at her. I think, I think we found where the, where everything's happening. I think is we she, can... she's the source. Yes. Start backing out of here. <clears throat> okay. All right. We gotta get out of here. We know where to, where to, where to, to dig and where to destroy. Yeah, radio the, yep. radio the guy, this, this is it. <laughs> All right. But as soon as, we, as soon as we evacuate, then Fire all missiles. Mm -hmm. okay, so we start making our way back up the hole. I'm so going to stay with my flame. So flame it's, it's all of you and, mm -hmm. and military, Jackie McCready and all that stuff. Right when you turn around, Jackie looks at you guys and goes, I'm really sorry. And he vomits out all this oh. black goo. Oh. Damn it, Jackie. And go, puts his arms out like this and almost begins to like hover, hover over the ground as the black just covers him. I'm gonna turn around and put the flamethrower on him. Yeah, I'll roll for it. down. 13. 15. Oh no! So you turn. <laughs> it's not enough. And Jackie, like a wave, washes over you <laughs> with the black. <clears throat> you wanna try and avoid it, or what do you wanna try and do? Um. I'm not sure I'd try and avoid it because I don't think it's going to hurt me. Yeah. I'm just going to stand there. Okay. So the Jackie Black Wave goes over and then starts heading to the three of you. Oh, burn yep. it, burn it. Burn so does it do anything it. to me right, after it went over me? 10. 10. Oops. 16. Uh, six. Nine. Like garbage yeah. this whole freaking okay. game. Nine. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Kyle and Anna are able to burn it enough to like get it to like move off to the side. Joanne, it does grab onto one of your legs uh, and be pulling you. No. Uh, uh, run! Save yourselves and let them know where they need to go. I want to. I want to try to help help her. I want to get I try to out. Help. I think I can save you. No, I don't matter. <sighs> I'm still, I'm just, I'm just trying to like see if I can scare it away from, from her leg. Okay, roll for it. Ooh. Oh. Uh, what is that? It's on the cross again, oh. yeah. 17. 17. Four. So what do you want to try and do? I'm trying to burn it, like trying to get to get, to get it off. Not burning her, <laughs> but just trying to like, trying to get it to separate from her. Okay, so you, <sighs> and as you do that, the black starts to kind of like pull itself away because you're wearing like parka pants. Right. It still hasn't hit any skin, so it's like mm. kind of separating like this. Um, mm -hmm. It goes over to the military, 18, and it <clears throat> grabs onto the military leader, lifts him in the air, oh, no. and brings him down, and it's almost this motion of lifting him up, bringing him down, and then this wave of black just <clears throat> on top of him. Okay. I Run to the hole, run to the hole. Right. Go, go, go. All right, we're running. Yeah, we're running to the hole. Here. All right, and then... Uh, I will follow them. Yep. You do or do not? I, I will. You will. Yep. Okay, uh, so you guys start making your way towards the hole. Yep. Um, McCready and Childs are behind you just... Right. Just <laughs> trying, to, trying to stop this thing from coming at you guys. Um, 16, they're very successful. It's kind of making that thing recede okay. back and back. All right. Uh, you guys get to the hole. Sort of, uh, it's basically what, uh, what Seek had said. A little bit of a jump. So, you're <clears throat> please, place your foot upon my hands. Yep. Okay. All right, all up. three of you okay. roll. Okay. Uh, six. Seven. Wow. 
Eleven. <laughs> Please try and jump at the same time <laughs> I throw you. Uh, I got a five. Oh, oh. wow! So thank God <laughs> she is able to kind of fool, fool, fool the three of you. Mm -hmm. Seek, you can also try and I'm gonna yeah, roll about your way out of it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seek, roll. Fifteen. Two. Uh, yeah, you just, I, you just like Superman. Man. Yeah. <laughs> right out of this hole. Did McCready and Giles get out too? Or Giles get out too? No, they were in front. Of you. They were behind you guys, so you left them there. Oh. <laughs> Which means, uh, eighteen for the creature. Yeah, they're like at the bottom hole. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they were not behind they us. Hit they with the black. Us. They were behind us. They were not. <laughs> uh, they were behind us trying to hold them back. Yeah. Yeah, they were trying to hold them back, and you just watched while we were escaping. Yeah. And jumped. You left them to die, Seek. <laughs> as far as I was aware, they were back in the room. They weren't behind me. By the way, it's oh. my programming to protect these guys, not those <laughs> that's guys. Right, that's very true. Um, just, uh, it, was, uh, it was brutal. Speaking of which, right. I'm shoving them along. I'm making them run. Yes. And the, so we get and the other military, there's more. There's still the helicopter. Yeah, they're on the yeah. outside. Okay. All right. Yeah, call, call All right, fire in, call in the hole! Tom. Yeah. Everything, everything, shoot. Just everything you got. Sanitize As we're just it. running from the hole. Okay. Uh, so I got a three. So yeah, they are just going to be like, it's the end of uh, Last Jedi. Just perfect. <laughs> just, it is a, a, a mess. And you just start hearing like this screaming. <clears throat> Oh, of Susan. what could possibly be the black, and also it sounds like the voices of anything the black has ever taken. I, I, could we did bring the penguin along in the helicopter, so I want to I want to see if the penguin is like restored to its like natural state. Because since we're destroying the the black, do I we wanna... have happy oh. feet back? That's what well, we well. What I would know. say is because you didn't open the container, the penguin and the black are separated, and the penguin's like this <laughs> oh, like, against the glass. <laughs> like, Throw it in. Throw it yeah. in. So what do you want to do? Oh, wait. Uh, I want to. I want to let the penguin go. I want to <laughs> open and then let the penguin go and throw. Throw the. Try to trap the thing and throw it, the box over there. Okay, throw roll for that. Yep. Oh boy. Come on, penguin. We're trying our best. That's a six. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, no. So in this awful, not smooth move, you <laughs> just open this thing. The penguin's not coming out, but the, <laughs> the black stuff's not. You go like this. You finally just go fuck it. You throw it into the fire. <laughs> Good enough, good enough. <laughs> For the greater good. Yep. <clears throat> so Jess, you just so and uh, the fire starts to recede <clears throat> and it's silence. Did we do it? I don't know. I guess only time will tell. Unless they send a team down there. I'm not going back down I'm there. I'm not uh, I feel like I've done more than I can handle regarding this virus right now. Yeah. Although maybe there's a robot that could... That could check. <laughs> Seek, would you like to... Uh, a cyborg, would you like to go down there and check out... I will follow your orders. The, de the destruction? <clears throat> I'm gonna walk over it. Look, look in the, the massive pit, I'm sure there is. Silence. Seems like it's all good. I think it's time we all go home. So the four of you get uh, into the chopper. Mm -hmm. The other choppers start to take off. <clears throat> as your plane starts to, as your chopper starts to go, 18. Uh, it starts to kind of leave the rest of the choppers. Oh no. Uh, pilot, where, where are we going? Where are we going? The pilot turns. You shouldn't have left Muck. Oh no! <laughs> Chuck pushes down what? on the control oh, no! and crashes the helicopter. Oh, <laughs> All four of you roll. Oh god. Eighteen. Oh. Twenty! Oh! Holy uh, shit! Seventeen. Two. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh -huh. oh. So, Anna, Joanna, and Seek are the survivors of this plane crash. <gasps> the helicopter crash. I, I even asked for you, Chuck. <laughs> I wanted to see what he... <laughs> 
Kyle and Chuck <laughs> did not make it. Oh no! The helicopter crashing <laughs> means that their radios on the helicopter do not work, and because he veered off course from the other <clears> helicopters, <throat> no one knows you three are out there. Oh no! One moment, let me activate my homing device. Beep 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 beep. beep. Wah, wah, wah. Someone should be with us within 60 minutes. Please roll, do not name roll. any animals. <laughs> roll. 11. 15. Oh, darn it. Due to the intense gale storm winds, your signal can only get so far. It could be an hour. It could be days. It could be weeks. <laughs> could be never. Is there... And that brings us to the end. Oh, no! <laughs> of the final episode of Blood Curdling Tales of Terror. That's the end of season one. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, going around the horn, uh, thank you very much, so much to uh, Scott and Kate, who've been the cast members on the show. Uh, week in, week out. Thank you to Janelle and Emma uh, for awesome. killing it. Thanks. Um, this has been so much fun. This has been a way for me to kind of play with like little horror stories or do homages or sequels or anything like that. Uh, and uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating uh, for everything you guys have done. Uh, all the hashtags, all the fun stuff, the gifts. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'd love to do a season two of this. And so uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Um, but it's definitely something, if you want to see that, let it be known. Uh, and this, the past episodes are on YouTube. Share those. Clark Wolf was our guest on the first one. Uh, Kelly Vrooman, stuff like that. So share that. Let people know that this show was a thing. Uh, and we could probably get more episodes. Going around the horn, anything you want to plug or talk about, Scott? Uh, you can follow me on all the socials at Norse Meat. <laughs> Mainly see pictures of my kid. He's a cute kid. He's a very cute <laughs> kid. I follow me at Janelle Santa Cruz on all the social medias. I play competitive Overwatch, uh, streaming Ooh. that. And I co-host a Ready to Ramble with Cameron, which is on YouTube on Hyper RPGs. Yay. Uh, and I'm Emma Fife. I can be found all over the internet, wherever Emma Fife's are sold, at my name, Emma Fife. Uh, tomorrow night on Pencils and Parsecs, 9 o'clock p.m. Pacific time here on Hyper RPG. That is our Star Wars RPG. Uh, we're going to be doing a flashback episode. Joined by a couple of wonderful guests, uh, Leo Camacho and Ryan Day. So it should be uh, quite the experience. So be sure to tune into that. Also, uh, look today later on ET Online that it's entertainment tonight. I did a video with the wonderful Ash Krosnan all about porgs because we all <laughs> of we're the porg queens of the internet. So we thought it was high time we united. Uh, so be sure to check that out. That's perfect. That was incredible. Well, <laughs> hey, I'm Kate. Please follow me on Twitter at Kate's Tweets. You'll always see when I go live, which is several times a week because of these amazing people Yay. having these awesome shows. And thank you so much for supporting this channel. It gets us here to have fun. So thanks for all your bits, your tips and your hashtags. And if you do want a season two of this, because I know I really do, and Scott really does, and Cameron really does, and everyone else here does, please tweet at HyperRPG and Jurassic Alien, that's Cameron, and let us know. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Spread the word. Back by popular yes. demand. Yes. Yeah, uh, ask for me, twitter.com slash Jurassic Alien. Um, I help write on the Power Rangers RPG as well, so if uh, you like this kind of thing and you're not watching that, you should totally be watching that. Um, and yeah, ready to ramble. And those are the uh, major things, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, other than that, everything else I usually plug on Twitter, uh, so go check that out. Amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Stick around for Honesty Hour and then the Gauntlet. Yeah. After that, yeah. Have some spooky dreams. Happy holidays.